Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, you lovely lot. Welcome to Tuesday night's edition of Launch Party, where we have, well, a crafty party for the next couple of hours, where not only do we showcase new launches, recently new launches, and we may even give you a little tease as to some things that are going to be coming up very, very shortly. Now, what we have got, <laughs> what we have got is a jam-packed two hours. Uh, can I just say, Johnny's gone home and now Nicola's in the gallery. That's all that I need to say on that one there. Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you what she said. So it's a little clue as to a preview. And it rhymes with Schming Schmisher. Nicola's in the building, everyone. Uh, that is a preview as to something that's going to be launching later on in the week. We've got a few previews coming our way. But today has been all about... Well, we did say this whole week here has been November news. This whole week is November news. We've got a brand new launch every single day, from yesterday all the way up to Friday. However, and I'm going to say it because it's completely true, we've got more launches today than we do have in the whole entire week. Because not only have we got the launch of our floral frame and boston folder in dies that Sarah had on, we'll be having a look at these ones, been incredibly busy. We've had our foil transfers, what we're going to be looking at first. But we have got, and these were not meant to be on today, but Craig got Johnny in a headlock and said, a crafter, and who I've got with me tonight, and I'll introduce her in a moment, because you might not know that she's with me tonight, will completely agree. We cannot do a show, we cannot make a card without a card blank. You guys have been asking, will you be doing your own card blanks in envelopes? Well, we've done it. They're in stock. They weren't meant to be shown today, but I got my way. We've got card blanks. We've got card packs. We've got A3 colour. We've got 12 by 12 black and white, all brand new, and they're there on the website. What I will say, this is an introduction to a core line. These will be standard core lines that you'll be able to get day after day after day. They will sell out at some point, if not early this week, very, very soon. So if you want to get your hands on them, please do make an, uh, make, uh, take advantage of your Club Inspire. Stock up when it comes to the website and know that when they do sell out, you will have them all there at home ahead of when we do restock them once again. So they will sell out, I'm telling you, no doubt about it. But they will be key core items that we will be stocking on the website. Now, when it comes to it being a Tuesday, we've got a tenor Tuesday on the website too. So if you head across to crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, you're going to find at the banner at the top at tenor Tuesday. And that means, well, it means everything in that section you're going to get for £10, $10 or €10. Euros. Kind of a little fib because you guys are platinum or you're in Club Inspire, so therefore you still get your Club Inspire on top of that one. So if it is a tenor, if you're platinum, well, you're going to get it for eight quid. So you see what I mean? It's even better when it comes to the bargains that you can grab. But everything is on shop the day there from all of the new launches and so much more, and that's where you need to go. But when it comes to the demonstrations we're going to be seeing, Sarah showed us some incredible demonstrations within Wake Up Call and then Launch Day. But Sarah has gone off to, well, do something with the BBC, as she said, within the last show. But come in, and do you know what? What better way to spend a Tuesday evening with uh, the one and only, the incredibly talented talented Lily's in the building and here for the next couple of hours. I certainly am and what an exciting day yeah. today. Like Craig said, the amount of launches we've got on one day is super, super exciting. We have got the, dare I bring back out the word Craig, the snazzy. Snazzy. They are definitely snazzy. We've got those coming up launching on this launch party but for me and Craig, we are both true crafters. We love our crafting, we love our card making and it's pretty difficult, let's be honest, to make a card without any card. Definitely. So the fact that we've got this brand new core card, it's going to be part of our core range here at Crafters Companion. The fact that we've got that in stock today, it's in the warehouse, it's ready to be shipped out to you guys, whether you're UK or US, we've got all this amazing core card that we can bring to you. You'll be seeing it featured day in, day out across all the shows. At the end of the day, like I've just said, it's very difficult to make a card without card and the quality of this card is absolutely fantastic. As we go throughout this show, we will be showing you some of the different options that we've got. I know Cray's got all of the different car blanks all the different car packs and the cello bags as well so we will be having a look at those but also lots more to come up i mean we've had that fantastic launch of the frame engine boss earlier on today we've got like i say the foil transfers and we will also be having a little look at some of the launches uh, from the past week or so so it's gonna be a jam-packed two hours lots to cram in so i hope you can stay tuned for this full final show of the day it's all about that launch party
It really, really is. Thank you for that one, Lily. We will go through, as Lily said, all of the card blanks and that later on in the show. But when it comes to launch party, get ahead on the website, shop the day. That's where you're going to find everything. But pop in the card blanks as well. The really, really, really big popular one, which is no surprise, is six by six. So keep that in mind when it comes to the card blanks. We've got our white and the white smooth. It's the same manufacturer. It is card blanks done from our white multi-purpose cardstock. Same manufacturer, but we've got some craft. Some of them. We've also got ivory, some of them six by six. We've got linen mm -hmm. six by six card blanks. So keep that one in mind because what you can also do with them is you can use your transfer foils as well straight onto them. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going to be looking at. Now, when it comes to today, if there's anything that you want to ask while Lily is here, if there's anything that you've got, a burning question when it comes to anything crafty or creative, or you want to double check with anything that she's been doing within her demonstrations, we had Alex for the first couple of shows today. We've now got Gracie. I've not worked with Gracie for quite a wee while, so it's lovely to see her on the social. So if there is anything, speak away to Gracie, and then she's going to then pop her questions or queries through. But Jane's in saying hello, everyone, from our very wet West Yorkshire. I believe, I've not popped my head out the door at all today, but I believe it's a bit rainy and windy here as well. And uh, Nicholas saying, correct. Beth is in, Beth Valone is saying, hello again from upstate New, uh, New Hand Pink Waven. New Hand Pink Waven. Is that something from Ben and I don't know? So it's upstate New York. Ah. So, so you've added an emoji, but then it's not just transferred through into us. So that caught me out on that one, didn't it? That caught me out. Uh, maybe she is just from upstate Pink Waven. Maybe, maybe it's a new one. place in New York. Although I'm pretty good with everywhere in New York. So uh, I've not heard of that place, but that's exactly what it'll be. Phil Watson's in Crafting, not Grafting, by Hillary's in saying hello, everyone from Bedlington. Teresa's in saying hello, my fellow crafty friends. Roseanne's in saying hello from Massachusetts to Lily Craig, our social media superstar, which is Gracie, and also our awesome CCTV team, and all my fellow crafters. Well, we do have Nicola steering the ship this evening. We've got James as well. Uh, Tracy's about somewhere. Full of sass. If you see my Insta story, you'll know exactly what I mean by that. If you know, she was like that. Probably first time I've ever heard her not swear because I was on my work Insta story. She was very professional, very professional. Tracy's always very professional. Have Is you she? Heck? I've never heard Tracy swear. No, never. I've never, never heard Tracy speak without a swear <laughs> word. If, if that was normal Tracy on my Insta Instagram, you'd heard no speaking. All you'd heard a bleep, 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 bleep. Because that's all she does. That's all Absolute she does. Absolute slander. Mm. Well, it's true, though. Mm. But we'll have a look at these before she comes in and gives me uh, a kick in, like, uh, funny enough, she did last night, if you've seen last night's show. Mm -hmm. These ones here are our transfer foils. Now, we're going to have a look at these ones just in a moment with Lily, but also Sarah showed you earlier on all the different mediums that you can use these on. You can go for them separate. Now, I spoke to Johnny and just confirmed after the last show, I think potentially not one single person bought them separately. Everyone went for, okay, maybe there was one or two, I think he said, but everyone went for this double pack here that you're going to get. £48 or $58. You've got a platinum price of £38.40 or $46.40. What you're going to get when it comes to all of these ones here, you're going to get all of these beautiful designs. Now, when it comes to these beautiful designs, you're going to get six. I'm going to show you the boards. You're going to get six designs and then you're going to get two sheets of each. Now, the actual design is like an adhesive. You're going and then peel it off, which Lily will show you in a moment, and then you're going to add the transfer foil. It is what's classed as a, a natural light class kind of um, transfer. So it's what's called a, a it's gone right out my head, cold Lily. Foil. Uh, cold, cold foil. foil. That's it. It's a cold foil technique. Now, when it comes to the four colours you're going to get, you are going to then be getting your three of each colour. So these you're going to get kind of like your silver, your copper, your rose gold and your gold but the designs that you've got you've got real bold you've got borders you've got butterflies you've got swirls you've got loads and loads of decorative components not only that you're then going to be getting all of these as well now when it comes to these designs also going to get six designs and two of each with these colored foils what you're then going to be getting is things such as your cerise you're going to get your teal you're going to get your green 
and then you're going to be getting the plum as well. Now you can start to inner layer like with maybe a sentiment or a butterfly in the middle if you want to or of course once you pop them onto your medium you can come along and use your dies to die cut out. This one here I wouldn't have believed it unless I seen it Sarah used onto our shedless glitter ombre cardstock pad which absolutely worked a treat and then you've got all of these as well so all of them are coming your way incredible amount of designs hundreds of designs there with all the colored foil sheets as well 48 pound or 58 dollars that of course if you're platinum going to come down by 20 percent which means you're going to get them at 38 pound 40 or 46 dollars 40. They're on shop the day on .co.uk.com or .eu. While I have a little bit of a peruse as your comments, let's head across to Lily, who's going to show us what we could be doing with this incredible launch. I certainly am. I am so excited that we've got these launching here tonight on Launch Party. These are absolutely fantastic. Now, perhaps you're brand new to crafting, maybe you've not got your hands on that amazing foil press machine just yet, then this is going to be the perfect solution to enable you to get those beautiful foiled effects in your very own craft room with complete and utter ease. And honestly, these kits don't matter if you've been crafting for years or this is the very first crafting project that you're ever going to do. You can get started with these and still get those amazing, luxurious, elegant, classy finishes without too much effort at all, which I think is fantastic. Now, the beauty of these transfers is, yes, we've got the two different packs. And I think one of the main reasons why most of you guys at home are going for both those packs together in that collection is that although we bring you two separate packs with the metallic foil in one and the coloured foil in another, there's nothing to stop you mixing and matching the different transfers okay. between the two packs. So it's not a case of the gold pack, you can only use the gold no, foil no. on those. Of course, mix and match, and it's going to give you lots and lots of different options. You've already seen the designs on the boards with Craig, but think of using the different coloured foils, and it's going to change the look and feel of those designs each and every single time. Now, I've got a little news flash, a little question in my ear coming in from Nicola. Great question, this one, Nicola, actually, and I bet a lot of you guys at home are wondering this as well. Can you use more than one colour of foil? Well, absolutely, you can do. When you take your design, so your foil transfer, you'll pop that down, then you'll just want to sort of half and half your foil over it, or however many pieces of foil you're going to use. So maybe cover up half, the top half, using your purple foil, and then maybe you're going to overlay your gold foil, for example, at the bottom. Then you can get that two-tone sort of ombre effect, which is going to be great for using up all of your okay. scalp. So absolutely you can. But I wanted to sort of go in straight at the deep end because it's great to have your foil transfers onto your cardstocks, onto your paper. And I know Sarah's already shown you using these onto your glitter cardstock. We can see here onto our multi-purpose card. It could be any of that new card actually that we've used today. Could be, yeah. Wow, that would look amazing on the linen, wouldn't it? That would look so, so luxurious, especially if you're wedding invites. But how about going onto something a little bit different? So actually a non-porous surface like your acetate, you can barely see it there, but it is just about there. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to take our acetate. This is just some of our um, regular acetate you'll find on the website, the A5 Heavyweight. I'm not needing to use my heat resistant because like Craig's already mentioned, this is a cold foiling system. So just your regular heavyweight acetate is going to do the trick. Okay. Then all I've done is I've just trimmed down one of the uh, topper pads. So I've got my sentiment all the best. Then I'm taking out the smaller of our two bone folders. If you see on the website, we do our packs of bone folders in duo packs. So you get your longer one, you get this shorter little stubby one. This is ideal for your burnishing and what I use uh, with all my foiling techniques. So just burnishing down that sentiment onto there. Then all I'm gonna do, just taking care that I don't touch the adhesive as I peel it off. I'm gonna peel back that acetate carrier sheet and then you've got that waste sheet, almost like, you know, when you peel the backs off your double-sided mm -hmm. or off your foam pads, it's a little bit like that. You don't need to keep that, that is literally just waste. Now it is quite difficult to see because obviously it is acetate. I don't know if the light can pick this up. You can just about see onto there, you've got your um, adhesive on the back of the acetate. So all you're going to do is it doesn't matter what surface you're applying this onto, it could be cardstock, it could be paper, or it could be acetate like we're going to use here. We're just going to literally lay that down onto our acetate, just like so. You can barely see that. I know acetate no, is never the best one, but no more, yeah. promise you, oh, there it is. It is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our little burnishing tool, and we're just going to burnish over where we've got our sentiment applied onto our piece of acetate just to make sure that all of that adhesive is strongly adhered onto that piece of acetate underneath so that when we peel it back, we're gonna get all of that design transferred onto our panel of acetate. I, think I seem to have a little bit of a sticky glass. Everything wants to, to stick it's to it. Trying to find it, good. blending in. 
Yeah, it is. So, so then all we're going to do is very, very gently, just going to give that a little bit more of a burnish to make sure that really is nicely burnished down. Once you're happy that that's all been burnished, just peel back very gently and nice and slowly that carrier sheet from your surface. And you can just about see onto there, we have got our adhesive transferred onto, there it is, onto our acetate. Just managed to pick it just up. Just yeah. about, yeah. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of foil. I mean, look, literally look at that. That is a true scrap, isn't it? So you can be using <laughs> up all those scrap, scrappy little bits. And it is literally just enough to cover over my sentiment. And all I'm going to do, pretty side up, so the nice side of the foil that you want to be showing, you want facing up. So the side that you don't want to be showing is going to be facing onto that adhesive. So just stick that onto that, making sure you've covered all of the design just like so. Then I just start by giving it a little bit of a smooth down using my finger to start with just to make sure that's all in position. Then back to my good old faithful burnishing tool and I'm just going to burnish all of the foil over that adhesive design that we've applied onto our acetate just to make sure that all of that foil has been transferred onto that surface beneath. So just going over, and I mean, this is, is so easy. It's something you could be getting the kids or the grandkids yes, involved I'll in. Love the fact as well with a uh, launch day, and actually wake up call as well, Sarah was showing that yes, you can do it the way that Lily's doing it, and that really is the key way to do it. But what you can also do is just put it through your plates on your Gemini. Mm. So it's the same configuration as if you're die cutting, but it's the pressure, and you get that result every single time. Absolutely, I mean, how satisfying is this gonna be? If you're doing this with the kids and the grandkids, it is literally like magic. When I peel this back here, there's something really magical about it. Kids are going to absolutely love doing this. And look at that. On to acetate. How amazing is that? I mean, we could be achieving that same sort of effect with our foil press. But if you want a quick, easy and inexpensive way of getting that foiled effect, the sort of system that you can be using with children if you're worried about them, you know, with the heat of the foil press, then this That's is going to be point, perfect. Because yeah. I know little hands alongside that hot plate is not always the best combination. It's sort of one of those where you want to do certain stages and then you let the kiddies do other stages. But with this, they can do it start to finish, which is fabulous. So that's our foiled sentiment. All I've got now is I've actually got a frame that I've die cut used in some of my stitch edge dies. And I've just trimmed out the corners of this one just to make sure it's gonna fit nicely behind my frame. So I'm gonna flip my frame over. I've already got my red liner tape onto the back of that. And I'm just gonna line up my acetate. So I've got my frame around the edge and my sentiment just about uh, level and straight oh, yeah. onto there. Doesn't that look fabulous? It does look fab, yeah. Creating your own toppers, absolutely love that. We're gonna get some of our, of course, our foam tape onto the back of here. The thing is as well, Lily, is, and, you know, and I'm not being funny because you'll never ever hear me knocking the foil press because mm -hmm. I love it, but the two main mediums that are such difficulty in foiling is shedless glitter or glitter yep. card. Yep. Sarah showed you earlier on with the ombre glitter and acetate. Yep. You know, and, and I love foiling onto them, but if you just don't have that confidence or you don't want to even do it with absolute ease, you can then do your transfer onto shedless glitter or normal glitter card or onto your acetate like you've just done there. Absolutely. I mean, foiling on acetate, it doesn't get much more luxurious than that, does it? It looks absolutely amazing. And you saw, that was literally my first demonstration with these. You saw how easy it is to do that foiling technique onto your acetate. So that's my topper, all done and good to go. But let's start to layer up my card. So all I've taken here is I've actually taken one of my older pattern papers from my crafty stash. This is a little six by six pad called, I believe it was called Butterfly Garden. And you can see that I've taken one of those borders, again from our fabulous foiling kit, and I've just foiled top and bottom onto um, my card here. Uh, so I think it's fabulous as well. You get two of each designs of all of those different foil transfers, and you actually get three sheets of uh, each different colour of foil as well. So we're able to do the technique like I have here, where we've actually applied that border, both top and bottom, to our pattern paper. Now, if you are thinking about what card stocks, what papers you are wanting to uh, actually use alongside these foils, I have to give a big shout out to our luxury card stock. Now, if you go for your ice blue, you go for your green, you go for your purple and your gold and your silver, you're going to have perfectly coordinated uh, colourways in that lovely mirror card to match alongside the foil. 
So you can see here I'm using the gorgeous pinky purpley foil and I'm using the purple luxury cardstock packs. You know, the ones where you get your, um, you get your lovely glitter, you get your satin and you get your shiny mirror. Uh, and that's going to go absolutely perfectly alongside the colours of this foil. You can see there it matches like an absolute dream. Just framing that, drawing the eye into the centre where we've got that beautiful foiling. Now let's bring in that lovely topper that we've just created, using the foiling onto the acetate and also using that lovely nesting frame around the edge to really frame that foil design we've got alongside our acetate. So all we're doing here is we're just peeling back the uh, coating on our foam pads and let's just line that up so it's central left and right top and bottom and once we're happy that that's looking about straight and level we're going to pop that down onto there just like so then what we've got here is we've taken some more of the designs uh, from that beautiful pack but this time we've actually foiled just onto some of our multi-purpose card it could be that smooth card that we've got over on the website i mean if you're using the 160 the um it's sort of we were talking about this earlier, it's virgin between card and paper, that 160. Yeah. So if you are doing things like this when you're shaping it, then that's ideal. It's ideal for your decoupage. Maybe you've got USB CD-ROMs where you print off your decoupage layers. Then that sort of way it's going to be absolutely ideal for that because it's going to allow you to add that, uh, that shape to mould and shape all those layers. Mm -hmm. But it's not going to be uh, super thick that that card is actually going to crack no, when you start no, adding all, all the shape. And that's also a good point as well because once Lily's finished this demonstration what we're going to do is we're going to go through the card blanks and just the card blanks just now then mm -hmm. shortly we'll go over all the other ones and that's what Sarah said within launch uh, day because we're calling like the A3 and that we are calling uh, paper uh, we're calling cardstock it's actually a heavyweight paper and obviously Sarah had heard me say that she says that's right enough so she's going to speak to the team and try and get the descriptions changed because as me and Lily were talking about mm -hmm. earlier on usually it's from about 170 onwards is described mm -hmm. as a card anything under that is then a paper but because it's 160 it's a heavyweight paper yeah, so I will go through the ones even although descriptions on some will say card I will tell you if it's more of a heavyweight paper but the card blanks that we show are actually strong 300 GSM card blanks. Absolutely, yeah. The way I'm, I tend to be a bit bored about stuff like this. I like to uh, like to know the science behind things, things like this. Uh, so I was looking into it once, and by the uh, the sort of rules, I suppose, uh, of the printing industry, anything over 170 GSM is technically classed as bored. So I always think anything of 170 or over we call card really. So 160 is a heavyweight paper, but don't don't hear paper and think, oh, is it? You know, is it not? not not suitable in my crafty stash well papers are just as useful they've just got different uses uh, when compared to cards so if you're doing your shaping like this a thinner paper like your 160 is going to be absolutely ideal to allow you to mold and shape all of those layers perhaps you are creating your own paper flowers i always much prefer to actually use a, a thinner card or a heavyweight paper if i'm making my own paper flowers again it just allows you to mold and shape them more things like leaves and foliage as well so it's one of those, it's very much horses for courses. They've all got the different uses and that's why we bring into you all of those different weights of that fabulous car stock and paper. But you can see there that first demonstration, super simple, super quick and easy, but doesn't it look dead snazzy when you've got your beautiful foil transfers? Absolutely adore that purple colorway, but of course you could be taking that same design and those exact same transfers maybe mixing it up with a silver foil instead of that purple and it would change that look and feel completely, change up that sentiment that could even be for a wedding car. But just to show you how quick and easy it is to get crafting with those foil transfers, they are definitely, for me, one of those you have to have them in your crafty stash. They're going to add that touch of luxury, that touch of shimmer and shine and they're going to make your creations look absolutely gorgeous. Lily, that is absolutely stunning, really, really stunning and seeing the way that you've created that. And you can do exactly what Lily's just done as well if you get your hands on this set. Now, as I said before, you can go for each set separately if you want to, but the value, and when it comes to the value of the double set together, really is exceptional. So you're going to be £48 or $58 for both sets. If you're platinum, that's going to come down to £38.48. $46.40 and that's going to give you all of these now when it comes to this set here that I'm showing you this is your shine like a star so this has given you when it comes to the foils it's actually given you more of your copper your gold rose gold and your silver the foils used with on this one has kind of just been mixed from the other set but you are going to get these images here that I'm showing you you're going to get your six designs and you're going to get two sheets of each however you're going to get as I said the rose gold gold copper 
and the silver. But if you're going for them both, then of course you can absolutely mix and match. So you've got your full focal point within some of them. You've got some of your corners, some of your circular layers. You've then even got sentiments in there. You've got embellishments as well. When it comes to the framework, you can start to come in with some sentiments or butterflies or embellishments and then rub the foil into them. You've got your floral mandalas within these ones too. Not only that, you're then going to be getting your border, your strip borders, these really fine detailed intricate borders and corners and then additional frames and swirls as well. All of them are coming your way so when it comes to the colour of the foils you're going to get the four colours and three of each. When it comes to the designs you're going to get six designs and then you're going to get two of each. So these are kind of your tacky backing that you've got there. But when it comes to the other one that we've got here, this one here is your make a wish. Now these designs are the ones that are going to come kind of with your cerise and your teals, your greens and your plums as well. So these images are also six designs but then you're going to get two of each and then with the four colours I've just said a moment ago you're going to get three of the coloured foils, transfer foils. This is classed as a cold foil so if you do have additional cold foils at home you can absolutely use that as well. Uh, in all honesty I know it was a question beforehand, I've not tried the foil press foils Although you can use them with your double-sided tape and your tape runners, I've not tried it. I would have thought you'll be able to use them with them, but just know I've not tried it as of yet. But if you can use your normal adhesive tapes with your foil press foils, I can't see why not. But definitely any other cold foils that you've got at home, you can definitely do that. And as Sarah said, it's tacky enough to use your Gildan flakes as well if you want to. So if you want to go for all of them, £48 or $58, with the platinum price of £38, pound 40 or for you guys stateside 46 dollars 40. you are there across on central europe's website for you guys across central europe you just need to jump onto your website grab a hold of them and grab them while you can and that's what many of you have been doing more and more tuning in saying hi to us all Haley ralph is saying hello craig lily and everyone hope you're all having a lovely day uh, it's been a lovely day it's been a freezing day for me i've not been able to get warmed up all day today lily it's funny i've been exactly the same I, yeah. the first thing i did when i worked it, walked into the office was put that heating on and literally the coming live for this show it's the first time i've taken my cut off all day it's been absolutely baltic in here absolutely it's baltic it really really has uh, hence why i started the show by holding my hands around my cup <laughs> earlier on because it was that cold christine mahoney's been in like many has been in all day saying hi again everyone watching and crafting bev is in saying hello my my orange template library arrived today very happy uh, just need the ones in between stay tuned early next year they will be coming back Cathy is saying hello everyone Kim's in saying hi everyone from a wet and cold East Yorkshire Sue Benson's in saying hello Craig Lily Gracie Tracy and everyone which includes Nicola and James as well uh, also saying hello from the foothills of Montana Catherine's in saying good morning from Roswell, New Mexico, uh, originally from Wales. Gosh, you really have gone kind of across the globe, haven't you? Vanessa's saying, uh, Lily, very festive nails. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, Christmas is coming, so I thought, you know what, we'll go and nod to Christmas. I thought, I'll save this full-on Christmas nails for maybe next month, but I thought Christmas is coming. Let's give a little nod to the festive season. I'm very excited for Christmas, like the gentleman stood over there. Mm -hmm. um, we've, we've got a question here, Lily, mm -hmm. and although that last card you done wasn't a shaker, I suppose you mm -hmm. could have turned it into a shaker, mm -hmm. and Sue Benson is saying, any help, please? I did my first shaker card last night, had a terrible time. Now, I don't know if this is just me, but she said, had a terrible time with kitty silk sticking to the red liner and foam on a roll. I'm not sure what so kitty I'm not sure silk what is. kitty silk is. I'm not sure no. if maybe it's just kind of, um, um, oh, maybe, oh. maybe they said, Sue, have you got a cat? Is that what your class is, you know, the, the, the fur from a cat? Yeah, no, I was about to say condensation, not condensation. Um, what do you call? Fair. Oh, no, you know um, how everything attracts to the red liner? Oh, static. Static. That's the one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not condensation. <laughs> the static, maybe that's pulling the cat hair onto maybe the back end. So, mm. any ideas? Let us know what you mean. Yeah, let, let us know what you mean. Let, you know we'll, we'll let us know what you mean. Let us know. Uh, Laurie is saying, hello, Craig and Lily. The card is really pretty. And Hayley Ralph is saying, oh, that is such a beautiful card, Lily. Uh, it really, really is. And you can do that if you grab hold of your adhesive rub-ons. 
Right, shall we spend a few minutes going over these card blanks here? Yes, because let's these do it. have been so, so popular. We're going to, uh, I know many of you have got these in the baskets, you don't like checking out while a demonstration's going on. So what we're going to do, once we've gone over these, we're going to go to a break, when we come back, we'll go straight back to Lily. But I'm actually going to start with the most popular one, and that is the six by six. Now, when it comes to the six by six, you've got your six by six. These are your white, essentially, these are your white multi-purpose. Now, I'll talk you through an A4 card bundle later on that we've got. Essentially, I'm just going to bring this in just so you know. We've got a card bundle that says white smooth. This is the same as white multi-purpose. It's been branded to work in the tool selection of our card blanks. It's been labelled slightly differently. We'll talk you through that later on. This is about the card blanks here. Now it's a hundred pack that means you're going to get 50 card blanks and then you're also going to get 50 envelopes as well. $8.99 or $13.95 you've got a ridiculous platinum price of $7.19 or $11.16 for 50 6 by 6 card blanks. Super smooth 300 GSM that you've got within these ones here and within these ones here 250 GSM by the way. It's 250 GSM and the envelope is 100 GSM. All of that $7.19 or $11.16 what we've also got is we've got our craft card. Now, when it comes to the craft card, also 6x6, six six, and you've got the envelope as well. The card blank is 250 GSM. The envelope is a craft envelope, and it's 100 GSM. True to size with the envelope, that's a little bit bigger. 100 as well, so that's 50 and 50. You're going to get them at $9.99 or $14.95 with a platinum price of $7.99 or $11.96. Now, this is the only set so far that we do within the linen. So this is the 6x6, so this is a 50 pack, so it's 25 6x6 six six card blanks and 25 of the envelopes. Now, when it comes to the envelopes, they are 100 GSM, but they are a smooth paper or a card. What you've got here is you've got the card blank that is linen, that's front and back. 6x6, six six, 100 piece, um, so, well, actually, it's... It's not, it is a 50 piece on that one there. So it's definitely 50 piece there. 25 card blanks, 25 envelopes, $11.99 or $15.95 with a platinum price of $9.59 or $12.76. We're then going to go down to the next popular one, which is your 5x7. So we can start with the white 5x7. These ones here are also 250 GSM with a 100 GSM envelope as well. It's all gummed as well, so you just need to put a little bit of adhesive uh, or just a little bit of uh, tap water or something like that to go around. You can lick it, of course, but I know not a lot of people like to lick their envelopes now. $7.99. $11.95. Sorry, it's been a very busy couple of days. $6.39, compose yourself, Craig. $6.39 or $9.56. That's giving you 50 of your 5 by 7 card blanks and 50 of your envelopes. Then when it comes to the craft card, you've got... Did I say 5 by 7 They're A6. That was my fault, wasn't it? Um, where's my 5 by 7 gone? Here they go. They're right in front of me. They're right in front of me. There we go. Still the same, it's 100, so it's 50 and 50. 7.99 or 11.95, $6.39 or $9.56. That's giving you your 5 by 7 with the envelopes. And then sticking with the 5 by 7, we've got the craft as well. 250 GSM with the envelope, which is also a craft paper. That one is 100 GSM, $8.99 or $13.95, with a platinum price of $7.19 or $11.19.16. And I've got my glasses with me as well. That is those ones. Let's do the A6 ones now, seeing as I had them in my hands a moment ago. These are your A6. So these are also 100, so 50 card blanks, 50 envelopes, $7.99 or $11.95 with the platinum, $6.39 or $9.56. Let's do the craft within the A6. So for you guys stateside, an A6, that is a 4x6 in size. You've got your 50 and your 50. That is, just so you know, that is 12 pence a card blank which is exceptional. Nic Nicola, does that include the envelope? Is that per card blank and envelope? It will be, yes, you say. 7.19 or 11.16 for that 100 pack there where you're going to get 50 and 50. Then we're going to go into the 5x5. Five five. Now, when it comes to the 5x5, five five, we don't have them within the white. What we've got them is in a linen. So a little bit more of that light ivory tone that you've got here. Let's turn that the right way around. It's gone smoothly all day today, and it's now just going to pop. 
This one here, I'm going to definitely blame Nicola. It's been fine when Johnny's here, and then Nicola comes in, and the whole lot goes to pot. Five by five ivory car blank, 100, so you're going to get the 50 and 50, 5.99 or $7.95. That is a platinum price of 4.79 or $6.36. I know I said a moment ago linen, that's not a linen, that is just a completely smooth ivory car blank and envelope. 250 GSM with the envelope also being 100 GSM. Then we've got the craft within the 5x5. Five five. So the 5x5 five five within these ones are $7.99 or $11.95. Platinum price $6.39 or for you guys stateside $9.56. Remember, we're just going over the card blanks. We'll go over all of the other card stock later on in the show. But the last selection that we've got here, these ones here are your A5. So that's A4 folded in half. You've got the envelope to go with it as well. When it comes to these ones, A5 white card and envelopes. That one being a 50 piece because you've got 25 card blanks, 25 envelopes. $8.99 or $13.95. You've got a platinum price of $7.19 or $11.16. Please remember all the white card blanks are essentially your white multi-purpose. So it's your really strong, it's sturdy, and you can do all your different inky techniques. You can do your foil transfers, all of that as well but that's your a5 you've got one at the let next two are two of my favorites we've got seven by seven love using a seven by seven card blank but the seven by seven 50 piece so that's giving you 25 card blanks 25 envelopes 7.99 or 11 dollars 95 or six dollars 39 or nine dollars 56 last but by no means least is probably one that i use and do quite a lot and that's eight by eight. That's giving you your eight by eight white card and envelopes. Also a 50 piece, that's giving you 25 of your card blanks, 25 of your envelopes at $9.99 or $14.95. Platinum price for that one, $7.99 or $11.96. So that one there is your eight by eight. Um, the only other thing I'm just going to kind of flag up for you as well, we've got four different selections of cello bags. So if you are making to sell, this is great. If you then like to do little projects and then put them into cello bag and do them later, that's great. Or what you can then start to do, if you like to make things like smellies or bath bombs or wax melts or little toffees or treats or anything like that, you can then start to use these as a little treat bags as well. So you've got your different sizes there. You can see on the screen, we've got our five by five, which is this one here, 50 of them in total. Then what we've also got is we've got our A6, which is essentially our four by six. These will fit the envelopes as well, by the way, not just the card, but the envelope as well. 2.79 or $3.96. You've then got the A5 ones, but the A5 ones here that you've got the 50 of them as well. So you're getting the full 50 of these ones that are going to fit the A5 envelope with these ones. The details will be coming up just in a second or two. They are on the screen right now. $3.99 or $5.95 with a platinum price of $3.19 or $4.76. And last but by no means least, we do have some DL ones. We will be getting DL slash slimline card blanks in, but the time being, we do have the cello bags if you want to grab hold of them. 50 of them ones, $3.99 or $5.95 with a platinum price of $3.19 or $4.76. Right, so that's all the bulk of our card blanks and the cello bags. We're going to take a little break at the moment simply because you don't want to hear me banging on any longer than I need to be and I know that you're just itching to see another demonstration from Lily. So now that we've gone over all that, now's the opportunity to go and check out your baskets. I'm going to have a little read through the comments. We'll have a read through them once again once we come back and then once we are back, we'll go straight to Lily with a demonstration. But that will be in a moment after this. A few weeks ago on the show, we were talking about places where all you guys lived. Well, we might have used Google Earth just to have a bit of a sneaky look at the village, town, or city that you lived in. And I thought it might be quite funny if I wrote a little ditty and I put on my Facebook page, where do y'all live and all 50 towns and cities and village into my little song. But I didn't realize that there would be about 425 responses, so I'm going to cram as many places into this song as I can, but I won't get them all in. We craft everywhere, man, we craft everywhere From over here to there, man, we craft everywhere In crafters we've got our share, man, we craft everywhere 
We grabbed in Lydney, Limbrook, Launceston, Lehanna, Tampa, Darlington, Armour Beach, Sedalia, Wills Point, Witness, Wildwood, Wild Arm, Archie, Jack, Will Lake, Walker, Burn, Yate, Bay, Hesperia, Sublimity, Pinho, Avon, Freeport, Mableton, San Jose, Adam Club, Great Bend, Detroit, Penistone. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. Ain't crap as we got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. Grafton Parachute, Paradise, Pollock's Moved by Pelion, Sheets at Basin, Petersburg, Seacombe, Sutton, Saturday, and Bristol, Brighton, Brooklyn, Blackwood, Barnsley, Tide Street, Southfield, Tampa Hills, and Bentley, Tampa Villa, Tucum, Cary, Ottawa, Hull, Harrisburg, Lexington, Tupelo, Cincinnati, Austinburg. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. In crafters, we got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. We're in Luxahatchee, Lakesville, Lawrence, Lacey, Livermore, Albuquerque, Wikiwashi, Pentecost, Mount Elsmore Park, Mechanicsburg, Williamsburg, Rebello, Houston, Burlington, Wet Wang, Market, Drayton, Yelm, Effort, Wellington, Wapaka, Nita, Homer, Sassa, Santa Rosa, Wichita, Honolulu, Riverdale, Melbourne, Cumber, Spinton, now we grabbed everywhere, man, we grabbed everywhere, from over here to there, man, we grabbed everywhere, in crappers we've got our share, man, we grabbed everywhere. Grafton, Newton, Abbott, Newton, Abbey, Richmond, Dudley, Georgetown, East Kilbride, Eugene, Farron, Bramlett, Walkerstown, New Ohio, Fort Wayne, Gloucester, Chester, Long Beach, and Raphael, St. Dominic, St. Cloud, St. Augustine Beach, Sand Springs, Romford, Tulsa, Traverse City, Wesley Chapel, Ballarat, Medina, Rampo City. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. Grafton, Sarbrook, and two, Sunker, Chamois, Philadelphia, Chicago, Las Vegas, Biloxi, Lafayette, Elmira, Glendale, Scottsdale, Anchorage, and Hurtville, Seattle, Gold Canyon, Ipswich, Cumberland, Union, Bill, Toledo, Miami, Atlanta, Cleveland, Gold Canyon, Altoona, Kalunda, Port Orange, Club, Rising Sun. We grabbed everywhere, man. We grabbed everywhere. From over here to there, man. We grabbed everywhere. In crafters, we've got our share, man. We grabbed everywhere. And there's a few more places I didn't manage to get into the song. West Runton, Newcastle, Kingswood, Sandbach, Carlisle, Cobb, Butley, Albury, Durham, Springfield, Ashington. We crafted in Greenville, Lincoln, Nebraska, Sumter, Oak Park, Winchester, Nap Hill, Stoke on Trent, Mount Pocono, Greenville, Charlotte, Oxon Hill, Tunbridge Wells, Modesto, Haverhill, Sierra Vista, Arathebo, Morgantown, O'Fallon, Aurora, Black Forest. We crafted in Hermiston, Brownsburg, Henderson, Sakara, Fort Myers, Madden, Home, Hilliard, Farmingdale, East Moline, Summers Point, Calgary, Charleston, Sawston, Malden, Galloway, Fitchburg, on Aberdeen, Winstead, Castlewood, Chatsworth, Limestone, Victoria, Willoughby, Rockland, Canton, Falmouth, Canistota, Lindahurst, Ashbourne, and Cluj, Napoca. Oh yeah. yeah. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablets or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Right, you let me and Lily know in the socials what have you gone for either within this show or what have you gone for throughout today uh, let us know have you gone for the floral frames in Boston folders and dies have you gone for them have you gone for the ideas of rub-ons have you gone on for the card blanks the cello bags the a3 the 12 by 12 what have you gone for maybe you've stocked up on some things from the 10 or Tuesday let us know as well it's crazy that's on the social so fire them across we shall read them out for instance we have got we then got to where did we get to a minute ago Lucene is in saying love everything you do watch every day oh, bless you i think that was going with what lily, lily was making a minute ago stephanie theodos is saying good afternoon everyone from oh my gosh what's my my words tonight been so good today so good good afternoon everyone that is from stephanie theodos saying it's a cool but sunny farmdale new jersey um 
Marcel, uh, is A5 5 by 7? No, so A5 is half of A4. So we've got A4, fold it in half. That is your A5 in size. There was another one question uh, a moment ago. Um, yeah, about the card blanks. The card blanks are true to size. So if it's a 6 by 6 card blank, once it's folded, it's folded to 6 by 6. The envelope is a little bit bigger. That is then to take into account any height or decoupage should you choose to use that. So whatever the card blank is, that is the true size. The envelope is that little bit bigger. So hopefully that helps to a few of you that have been asking. Um, but what we are going to be doing is we're going to be having a look at the illustrated embossing folders. These launched yesterday. So that was launch one of our five days of our November news. And Debbie was in yesterday with these ones. And um, these, Lily, I said yesterday, to me, these are very simplistic. But the things that you can do with these mm -hmm. when it comes to the colour and the layering and the ink pads, it's a very satisfying folder collection to use. Absolutely. I was saying to Johnny yesterday, actually, for me, they're almost like a stamp version of, of an embossing folder, if that sort of makes any sense. So if you're into your colouring, maybe you love your illustrators, perhaps it's going to be your water-based mediums, maybe it's your ink pads, then these are going to be absolutely ideal for practising some of those colouring techniques. But what I find is when you've got an embossing folder, when you're actually colouring that with your pens, I can find it sometimes a little bit easier to colour that than when you're colouring a stamp because you've got that raised embossed line. It's almost like I always think of it like when you go bowling, you've got the bumpers up either side it's almost a little bit like that it kind of keeps your pen within that line so if you struggle sometimes to stay within the lines of those stamped images then I think colouring your embossing folders is going to be absolutely perfect so for this particular demonstration I'm going to use a couple of the designs that we've got as part of this beautiful collection I just absolutely love these there's so much you can do with an embossing folder for me they're one of those items that we have in our crafty stash that I think sometimes we forget about but I think it's time definitely to get them out get all those different techniques out get all your inks out all your gilding waxes all those pens and just have a good all play with these fantastic embossing folders. So we're going to start off with the beautiful flourishing foliage. Love this one because you can really take it all year round. You can see there on the packaging we've gone for more of a spring summer theme but change up the colourways it could be used for autumn or even maybe Christmas. Bring in a little bit of faux snow, bring in a little bit of glitter that could definitely be for Christmas that is for sure. And also another one that's going to be ideal for your masculine makes as well. Uh, so no flowers on this one just the foliage so definitely going to be one to go for for all of those gents cards. We're going to start by layering up our card base and for this layer we're just taking some of our smooth white card so absolutely if you're going for that 250 GSM white card stock that you'll find over on the website then this technique is going to be absolutely ideal. With it being a 2D embossing folder all we need to do is we need to go in with our couple of as I always call them our clear cutting plates which quite clearly are not clear whatsoever and all we need to do is just run that through our die cutting machine. Now with these being 6 inches by 4 inches in size, you can see here I am using my Gemini Junior die cutting plates. They're absolutely ideal for use with that Gemini Junior die cutting machine if that's all you've got in your crafty stash. Or of course, if you do have that larger Gemini, then you can be using those smaller plates in that large scale machine. Now all I'm going to do to layer up my card is I'm just taking a piece of our Centura Pearl. This one is that beautiful old gold colour. And I'm just going to layer my embossed panel. And you can see there the embossed is just as beautiful as the debossed. You get a two for one every single time you emboss each and every single one of these folders. And we've cut our gold to just a quarter of an inch larger to give us that nice thin little matte layer onto that beautiful embossed panel. Doesn't that look ever so classy? Just that white on white with the embossing without even bringing any of those mediums, all those mixed media goodies we have in our crafty stash. Even just leaving it without any of those added on, it still looks absolutely gorgeous. Then all we're going to do is going to lay this onto a card base. Just a top folding card base I've created using some of our Centura Pearl Hint of Gold just to tie in with that lovely gold and white theme that we've got running through our mats and layers. And that's our card blank all laid up and good to go. Good to add that focal point onto. So let's leave that to one side for just a moment where we work on that focal point. So all we're going to do now is going to take another of the designs from this fantastic collection. This one quite possibly might, might be my favourite. I do love a rose uh, and these roses are just absolutely gorgeous. I think there's something really quite storybook, quite fairy tale about the artwork that we've got with this embossing folder. And all we've got here is got a piece of our Nina card stock, our lovely super smooth card, cut down to about five inches by two inches. So just showing that you don't always need to use that full embossing folder every, every single time. You can use small sections and it's still going to look equally fabulous. 
Let's just place that inside our embossing folder. And once again, let's run that through our die cutting machine with our two cutting plates. Dead easy to do uh, every single time when you're embossing with these. So let's run that through and that's going to literally in seconds take a blank piece of cardstock and it's going to turn it into a beautifully embossed piece of cardstock. How gorgeous does that look? And you can see the depth on there even before we start to add in those mediums, before we start to colour this up, we can see the depth from the emboss, which is that side, and also from the deboss as well. I think the deboss is equally as beautiful. So you've got is, a couple of options. It's really yeah. pretty. Absolutely love that. But let's go in with our emboss side. So just a piece of cardstock, just to protect my surface. You know I always use that when I am actually colouring with my alcohol pens. And let's go in with some of our illustrators. I know we had a fantastic deal on our 36 box of illustrators uh, on, the, uh, on the shows yesterday. So I thought, you know what, let's use some of those for this colouring here. Now, what I, one of the things I love the most about our Illustrator pens is that beautiful brush nib. So soft and flexible. Not too flexible that it's sort of flexing about all over the place and you're struggling to get into that detail, but just flexible enough that it's going to move around those curves. It's going to sort of follow that curvature that you've got of that embossed line, and it's going to give you the most beautiful, smooth lay down of colour. So all I'm doing is I'm going in to start with with DG1, which is going to be the lightest of my three pen blend that I'm going to use here. And we're just going around the outer perimeter of that emboss line. I'm not going over the line. I'm going sort of just up against that emboss line. Okay. If I go over it ever so slightly, I'm not going to worry at all because I'm going to show you a little bit of a technique uh, at the end as to how you can sort of hide any, any slight workings, I suppose, if you want to call it that. Then let's go in with our mid-tone, our DG2, and we're going to go slightly over that lighter colour tone. We're going to overlap it as well, so we're going to extend a little bit further into the centre, and then we're going to bring out our darkest of our three pen blend, which is our DG3, going over that centre vein, and you can see we've got all the clues within that embossed design, so where we can see those embossed veins, we know it's going to be a little bit darker, so we're going in with our darker pen tones over those veins. And where we've got no veining at the edge of the leaf, we know it's going to be a little bit lighter. And it literally is as simple as that, just following those embossed lines onto our um, embossed design. How quick and simple was Very that? Very quick and simple. Very quick and simple. So all we do to continue that, we'd go all over that image with our greens and fill out those leaves. But now let's focus on one of our flowers. So let's take this smaller little rosebud that we've got here. So we're going in now with our PV1, that beautiful sorbet colour, the lightest once again of our three pen blend. And it's exactly the same technique as I've just shown you with that leaf. It's just a different colourway. So you're starting with your lightest pen tone first, and then we're going to work up the colourways until we get to the darkest of our three pen blend. So let's go in over the lightest areas where those highlights would be using our lightest colour tone. Then once we're happy that we've filled out those areas, we're going to go up to our next mid-tone, which is our PV. That's not the right one. It's this one, PV3. There we go. And then we're going to go on to our mid-tone. So just flicking over. And all I'm doing really is I'm just letting that brush nib do all the hard work. I'm just flicking out small little movements. It's not a big sort of movement from your elbow or anything like that. It's just a small flick of the wrist to start to blend those two colour tones together. And then once you're happy that you've got enough of that mid-tone on, let's flick up to our darkest within our three pen blend, which is our PV4, and start to add those shadows onto our image just like so. Now, I know that was quite quick, but all we'd do is we'd repeat that exact same technique. So every technique that I've just shown you there, we'd repeat of that full section of the image, and it would give you something a little bit like that. Stunning. Isn't it gorgeous? Those roses are just absolutely Stunning. beautiful. All we're going to do though now is going to bring out one of our gilding waxes, this one being that beautiful Empire Gold. I know how I was talking about, don't worry about if you're going over the lines a little bit. This is the technique that's going to sort of combat that. And any, any slight bits of untidiness, because I know sometimes, and it doesn't matter how careful we are, we do occasionally go outside the lines, and that's not a problem at all, because this technique of going in with a little bit of your gilding wax is going to sort of hide that and it's going to give that touch of opulence, that touch of luxury to really finish your colouring off. Nicola's loving the word opulence. It's fancy, isn't it? Dad, fancy that for this time on a 
on a uh, Tuesday night. I mean, how many hours have we been here now, Craig? What time did you get in this morning? I think it was just before May. Must have been about nine o'clock. We've been in. Uh, no, I came in, in earlier because I had oh, other gosh. things to get sorted. I was uh, not quite seven. Not quite seven. Did you go home last night? Is the real question now. <laughs> he's just he's just been sleeping here under somebody's uh, desk. Well, pretty, I may as well have. <laughs> I've been here at home doing stuff to get sorted mm -hmm. for the end of the week. Prep work, sleep. Although I didn't sleep last night, back oh. up early in here. So yeah, it's been a busy weekend since, well, since Saturday. Yeah, it certainly has, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, because we were here all day Saturday, then you were oh, prepping yeah. all day Sunday, here all day yesterday. Oh, blimey, oh, mate. I know, and I've been trying. Uh, yes, I may had a little alcoholic beverage on Saturday night uh, to say goodbye to Brent. Oh, we miss him uh, already. Yes, I know we're going to miss him. So let's just say um, Craig tried to catch up with everyone else. Oh dear. Quite quick, quite quick. But because cause I've been so busy, usually I would have my tree and that up by now, Lily. I know. I'm, I'm in a dilemma. Not. So I want, I want you guys to let me know at home. I know I briefly kind of mentioned this yesterday, but let me know at home. I'm going to put my tree and that up. Uh, I'm not going to get a chance to do it tomorrow, although I'm w working, prepping from home tomorrow. So I'm definitely going to do it on Sunday. Is, is that an all right time to do it? Is it too early? Or has some of you been like, no, that's too late, Craig, I've had mines up. I've got one, one house in my drive up to my house has got everything up. And I always said, as soon as one house on my drive has the tree and all that up, that's it. It's a fair game, everyone can put theirs up. Mm. So I'm gonna do it on Sunday. I know for you guys stateside, it's kind of a little bit half and half. Some wait until just after Thanksgiving. Some of you like to have it up for Thanksgiving. So let me know, let me feel good. Although if you say, yes, Craig, it's far too early, uh, I love you all, but I'll probably still ignore you and still put it up at the weekend anyway. But please humor me and let me know, is Sunday an acceptable? I'll make you a promise. Mm. If if you say yes, Craig, it's acceptable. I'll share loads of pictures. <gasps> yeah, that's what we want. I have to say, I don't know if it's just the estate that I live on, if I live on a really festive estate, but there's loads up with their decorations. Is there? There's absolutely loads. So Dan yeah. doing it tonight there when you I go. go home. Yeah, honestly, I was surprised. There seems to be more, more than ever, earlier than ever, I think. But yeah, there's loads. Whenever I walk home, woke up through the estate, so I'm right at the back of the estate, so I see sort of all the houses as mm -hmm. I walk up through. There's loads up. You it's can like see National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It is, literally, yeah. That's that's where I'm living at the moment. I love but, uh, that film. <gasps> They're everywhere, the wreaths out, but the, yeah, it's, my estate have had it up since um, Halloween, a lot of them to be fair. Mm. So I've kind of got, not, not, it's not a dare, or it's not, it's not a bet as oh. such, but because okay. I put up four trees. Right, and as For you those do. that haven't seen pictures of my house, no, I don't live in a mansion, but I have my main tree in the living room, I put yeah. a tree up in the kitchen, I put a tree upstairs on the landing, and then I put a, tr a real tree outside. Okay. So I've done four for a number of years now, and we were talking the other day, and they're like, you've got to do five. <gasps> you've got mm, to go for a yeah, fifth you, one. Yeah, you probably do. So now I'm thinking one outside in the front, and maybe one, uh, one in my back garden. That's that would be I'm quite thinking. nice, actually. I think it's always nice when people have got decorations on their front garden. You know, if you're walking past, you just see all the decorations. I was thinking, it gives you a little bit of a boost, which I always think is Yeah, but is you know nice. what I'm like? I'm a Christmas tree snob. Well, well we do know, yes, Craig, I we am. do. At home. We remember from last year. Oh, I Some know. Some people can't forget it. Poor old Michelle. It's, it's, she it's still like, has you know, nightmares. You know, people. I'll, I'll, I'll say it correctly and say family or friends, but I'm just going to say people as well. You know, on social media, and they're like, mm -hmm. oh, my God, look at the picture of my tree. Isn't it fabulous? And I look at it and think, thank God I'm not living in that house. <laughs> No, yep, I'm I, know exactly so, I am mean. really, really, you, you guys know that at home. That's oh, the one yeah, thing I am do. very judgmental on as a Christmas tree. Yeah. Very judgmental. Going to do it, as somebody once sang, if you're going to do it, do it right. Yes, you have to. Frankly. Absolutely. You have to, yeah. Anyway, join our Christmas tree chat and all things Christmas decorations. We've popped together this pretty little card. I mean, how cute is that? Using your beautiful illustrated embossed folders, actually using a couple of the designs there, your foliage onto your background, and then colouring up your garden roses onto the foreground. How pretty does that look? But using a couple of mediums with your gilding wax and your illustrators as well, that's the sort of thing you can be creating with absolute ease when you get this home. And the sentiment, if you're wondering where that came from, that's actually one of those foil transfers. So you can see you'll be using them alongside lots of other items in your crafty stash.
Awesome, thank you for that one, Lily. Let's have a quick look at these ones here because you're going to get the full set, which has given you the six of them. Now, these are 2D and they are 4 by 6 but you can do exactly what Lily was just doing a moment ago. And then you can always go back on our YouTube on 24-7 where you can then see, of course, what Debbie done yesterday. And let me tell you, Debbie, as always, just done incredible demonstrations. Absolutely smashed it out of the park, so much so that I am launching them on Hobby Maker on Friday. And you may just see a few of Debbie's demo ideas coming through into my shows on Friday because they're so good not to repeat. But that is all six sets that you've got there. £22 or $32. You've got your platinum price on these as well. $17.60 or $25.60. Beautiful folder to be using. And you can find them on the website as well. Just go to shop the day. You're going to find them there. .co.uk.com or .eu. Can you believe it? That's our first hour done already. Straight off the back, that is the very first hour done. We've got one more hour to go when it comes to Crafters TV. Now, so many questions all throughout today about these card planks. So I've got a couple more. Now, the envelopes, they are bigger than the card blank, and yes, they fit the cello bags. So the card blanks are true to size. The envelopes are a little bit bigger but they still fit the cello bags. The cello bags are a little bit bigger. So that is A5, uh, A6 cello bag, but it's actually a little bit bigger than A6 because it fits the envelope. You can see here, that's the five by five. So the envelope that's a little bit bigger than the five by five card blank fits, of course, the cello bag. And then you've also got the A5. So these are the cello bags to match the card blanks that we've got. The A5, true to size, the envelope's a little bit bigger, and it also fits the actual cello bag too. The other question on that one we had there a moment ago that just came through. So Nate is saying, hi, Craig and Lily and the team. Can you give me the sizes of all the envelopes, please? What I would say is, as I said, the card blanks are true to size. The envelopes are maybe about three or three or four mil bigger all the way round. So although I can't give you the actual measurement for each envelope, just keep in mind that you're thinking of six by six. Car blank is six by six. The envelope is maybe a few mils bigger all the way round. So hopefully that's going to help when it comes to the measurement of the actual envelopes. And that goes for all of them. So that's those ones just here. Uh, what we've just got uh, in my ear right now, and that's a very good idea, and you can absolutely do that. Nicholas saying, could you use a cello bag for a shaker card? Of course you can, absolutely. Just put your shaker bits in, seal it at the top, and then if you want to make it smaller, then you can, of course, cut it and then seal it. But yeah, really, really good question, Nicola. Really good question on that one there. Uh, many people will probably start doing that because that is a really, really good point. Uh, before we jump ahead, we're going to be having a look at the floral collage stamps. Uh, Stephanie Theodos is saying that is so pretty, Craig. Uh, Stephanie's also saying, Lily, mm. did you use gilding flakes on your nails? No. No, I've always wondered, I've always thought about doing gilding flakes on my nails, but no, it's just a uh, glitter polish uh, that uh, I've had done at the salon, but it's quite funny sometimes, you know, and it's like when you're using gilding flakes and the glue gets mm -hmm. stuck to your nails mm -hmm. and you inadvertently gilding flake your nails, but no, I've never never done it properly, but I know, know a few crafters in the past have gilding flake the nails. Yeah, they yeah, so they do. Pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, Laurie is saying, Craig, I am putting my Christmas tree and decorations up after Thanksgiving which I totally understand, many of you do. Stephanie's also saying, loved all of Debbie's demos yesterday. Yeah, once we are finished, go back on our website, our YouTube, we're 24 seven. So although we continuously go 24 seven, you can go back, select Debbie's shows from yesterday. I was on with her and it's always a joy as well to be on with Debbie. Uh, I do have to give Debbie a WhatsApp um, because myself and Debbie are going to see Leona Lewis in Can a we couple stop of weeks' going on about time. This because I'm very um, jealous. I don't want to hear any more. Debbie's already had JLS last weekend yeah. and now she's at Leona Lewis. I mean, what else? So at mid show there with Sarah, my tickets for Leona Lewis came through. So I need to give Debbie a message and see. Because we bought tickets three years ago and then obviously COVID, so it was cancelled or it was postponed. Postponed to last year and then Leona Lewis had a baby. Mm -hmm. So then it was postponed to this year. So like, right, we're going to get to see her. So that's going to be a good evening through Newcastle with Debbie, uh, the start of 
uh, start of December. What I had to laugh at because Lily deals when she does a lot of our schedules and that now that Brent's gone. And when we put in December schedule, I said, uh, Lily, I'm going to need the night of the 5th mm -hmm. off as well. Just to let you know, though, Debbie's probably going to ask you exactly <laughs> the same because we're going together, which she did do. Uh, so that was funny. So thank you for both giving us. Because that would have been awkward if she said yes to one and no oh, to the other one. <laughs> Uh, Patty is saying, you do you, Craig. I love seeing your Christmas decors and my neighbours have theirs up. I wait up till Thanksgiving to put ours up. Totally understandable. I agree with you. If it makes you happy, put them up mm -hmm. whenever you want. Mines are going to go up in April next year. Cathy is saying, uh, I would say joking, but I probably would if I could. Mm -hmm. Cathy is saying, Craig Laird, Crafter's Companion. We're all friends here. No ju judgment on when you put your tree up. Do you know something? I wouldn't care if you judged me anyway. I wouldn't mind because it would still go up. Helen's in saying, Lily, that card is beautiful. Paw print times four says that is absolutely gorgeous, Lily. Betty Weaver is saying, lovely card, Lily. Bandercrafts is saying, lovely card, Lily. And Sue is saying, really lovely card as well. Isn't it just really, really beautiful cards here? Uh, I'm just going to go out the way in case I get another kick in here. Oh, no, we're all right. Thank you. Sorry, I, I just see it. <laughs> Oh, I've just clocked how many cups he's got behind the pack shop. Craig. So, so, Tracy's just made me that one, right? Oh, great. Tut, tut, tut. He's still going. Oh, no. Can you tell I've been cold and want my cups of tea today? Well, you know where the dishwasher is, Craig? Mm. Yeah. Wow. And if I'm the last one in, I always switch the dishwasher on before I go. It's true. I know where the dishwashing tablet is. And I always switch it on. Thank you, Tracy. Um, right, let's have a look at these floral collage stamps. So these launched on Wednesday last week with Sheena. Just to let you know, although Sheena was in last week, she's back this week as well with another epic launch. So within these floral collage stamps, what we have got is we've got the ability to build up the collage when it comes to the floral. Now you get a mask with these as well, which is so, so handy to have. I do love my mask and roll and my mask and sheets, and I'll always continue to use these and them. But the fact is, because with each floral, you get a mask to go with it. And it's a mask that you're not going to be able to damage or rip or break when it comes to each of the individual florals. So what you've got within the full set here is you've got five full florals, and then you've got a sentiment set. So within this one here, what you have got is you've got your peony. You've got that large, bold floral peony, the embellishment stamps that you can start to build up and that mask as well. Then what you're also going to be getting is you're going to be getting the sunflower. So although you can do all your inky techniques, you can of course come along with things such as your sunflower collection if you want to. You're then going to be getting the daisy within this one here. So every single one, the floral, is big and it's bold and it's chunky. But then you've got these nice little swirls and embellishments, the little script work as well. And of course, you can mix and match. You've got then the rose as well, which is absolutely beautiful, stunning when it comes to these. Anything that Sheena brings, do go across onto Facebook and join the Enquets group because her and her design team do incredible things. You've then also got got the no one's that what that's it thank you Lily. apparently i say it wrong anyway yeah. so hi ho yeah yeah at least you can say it right i can't but mm. i can never ever ever say that one but you've got that one there not only that you're going to get and you know something lily i think i'm going uh. to be using these so so mm. often just to say as well when it comes to this full set of the stamps some of you have noticed that there's not an hour O U R. Now, when Leanne launched these with Sheena last Wednesday, she did say Leanne's taking a little bit of a break just now. She's on a little holiday, but she has spoken to her team. And what they're going to do is, in the same font, they're going to get our made up and it's going to be available as a download. So that will get done probably when Leanne comes back. So if you are wanting to build a sentiment that includes the word our, O U R, in the same forum to build the sentiment or sentiment, it will be coming as a download as well. But all of these block sentiments that you've got, the full lot you're getting for £35 or $45, £28 or $36 for you guy Platinum. And as I did say earlier on, mid-show with Sheena on Wednesday evening, I ordered these mid-show. I loved them and I wanted them, but then when I seen what Sheena done with them, it was like um, an absolute must. An absolute must, and I can't wait to get playing with them. And I know you'll enjoy them too. But when it comes to actually playing with them, let's have a look with Lily and see what we can do with them. 
There's so much you can do with these stamps. These stamps are just absolutely gorgeous and that definitely is the right word. It's all about playing with these. It's all about getting inky, getting messy, getting all those different techniques out and just having a good old play. And let's be honest, you can never go far wrong with a pretty flower, can you? No matter what occasion is, whether it's happy, whether it's sad, flowers are always going to be perfect in our crafting. And what we're going to go with for this particular demonstration, I thought, you know what, weather outside is frightful as the song does go. Uh, uh, so I thought, you know what, let's bring a little bit of sunshine into our craft rooms and let's go in with that beautiful sensational sunflower. So what we've done to start with is we've taken a piece of our watercolour card and we've taken one of our um, waterproofing pads, that one being our noir black. We've just stamped that gorgeous sunflower into the centre there. Then I've taken that mask, love the fact that you get this included uh, so you don't have to create your own mask, it just makes it so much easier. We've just sprayed on the reverse using our stick and spray and that's our repositionable adhesive, ideal for actually holding this into position over our stamped image. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to line that up of that stamp line and then just press that into position. That's going to mask off that beautiful sunflower. Now let's start to build up some of that colour using our ink pads. So for this demonstration, we're going to use our water reactive ink pads. Of course, you could be using any ink pad at all. Uh, duet ink pads are going to work perfectly with this. You could be using your opaque pigment ink pads. Shimmer ink pads as well would look nice. absolutely gorgeous. Something a little bit different, but of course you can be using those, whether it's our older silver based shimmer inks that we brought to your last birthday, or perhaps you're lucky enough to get your hands on those fantastic gold shimmer ink pads. You could be using either of those. It will change up that look and feel, but just give you a different option when it comes to the ways you can build up colour onto your background here. So Lily, I'm yeah. going to ask everyone at home, I'm going to ask you first though, see Ooh. if we're talking about Christmas. Oh yeah. Do you have a favourite Christmas song? Oh, I do. I, oh, do I have to say, I love Christmas songs. Absolutely. There's just something about, about you know, when they start, it's just so magical, I always think. But for me, favourite, favourite has to be, I know it's a cliche, it's got to be Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey. Absolutely, yeah. Love yeah. it. Love, love, love it. Love a Christmas carol as well, so love oh, the wait, modern stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Love a good Christmas carol. Um, Love some of the older stuff like Slade and... and yeah, um, see, I also like Nat King Cole. Yeah, all um, that sort of thing. Yeah, Dean yeah, Martin, yeah. Bing Crosby. Oh, yeah. All of them, as well as Absolutely. the newer stuff. I know Debbie Robinson's absolute favourite is Leona Lewis. Um, one More Sleep. Oh, that's a gorgeous uh, it's song, It's a really yeah. good one. And Tracy's just outside. Tracy, let us know, do you have a favourite Christmas song? Be interested to know if she's got one. But... What one? Oh, the Pogues. Oh, the Pogues. Oh, that's a classic, yeah. Oh, Fairy yeah. Fairy Tale of New York. Oh, yeah, yeah that's a good one. Fairy Tale of New York. Oh, that really is a classic. Yeah. That was my grand's favourite. Oh. It was my grand's favourite. And so that always reminds me of her. Oh. Um, my granddad's favourite, and I always remember this, and this is why it's always still a favourite of mine. Uh, he, he's no longer here, but he, he passed two days before Christmas, oh, Christmas Day. So it was about six years ago. I just visited, uh, visited him the last time I was there at home. Um, and every time I go to, to visit, visit him at the, the grave, graveyard, I, I always play our song. And our song, which happens to be Christmas, and it is uh, Nat King Cole, uh, Chestnuts Ro Roasting oh, on an Open Fire, the Christmas song. Oh, such a gorgeous song, song. That was yeah. always, uh, Even like during the year, we didn't play it lots, but yeah. that was always our song. Oh, and yeah. then, you know, with them passing at Christmas and that. So that that really does, that, that means a great deal to me, yeah. that song. I'm um, going to ask Nicola and James the same. Oh, I'm going yeah. to ask Gracie as well. Gracie, have you got a favourite Christmas song? And you guys at home, let us know as well. Let us know what's your favourite Christmas song. Is it the newer <gasps> style or then is it more of your old style? We've got Nicola is saying she loves Elton John. Oh, Stepping Christmas. Oh, I love that one. I've forgotten Stepping about that. Christmas. Christmas. Do, 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 and then she also do, 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 said do, 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 that one with the spaceman. The spaceman came walking from a star. From a bub. That's yeah. it. That is a good one. James? Yeah. James, sorry, James, you would have heard that one if I'd sung it right. But when you actually hear the proper version, you'll definitely have heard it. I promise you. Yeah. You would have. What was, what was your one? Uh, oh, so Nicola's now got a third one, which is Band-Aid. Absolutely classic. Uh, James, you've oh, got, two. got two. Driving Home for Christmas or Last Christmas. Oh, that's a good that's one. That's a good yeah. one. Uh, Does anybody the, remember when Terry did a version of that a few no. years? Oh, it was terrible. No. Absolutely terrible, but yes. I know that yeah. this might sound like really cheap and cheesy, go on. but when whenever I go home 
to, to Scotland for Christmas. Yes, Nicola. There's a certain point. There's a certain point that I've worked out that just before I come into my hometown, if I start driving home for Christmas, I get to my mum and stepdad's house just as it's ending, and the whole way through my uh, hometown is driving home for Christmas. Can I be really controversial for a second? Mm -hmm. I can't stand that Christmas Can you, song. Do you not like yeah, that Yeah, it's one of my least favourite ones it? ever, yeah. I just cannot yeah. stand it, yeah. Do you know what mine is? Oh, go on, yeah. Stay another day. Oh, I have to say I love that. I love no. a bit of East 17. No, mm, no. Those coats, oh, I could do with one of them lovely warm coats. No. Actually, you could finish, do you? I could today, <laughs> yeah, I could, Lily. Uh, hey, yeah. hey, that would give you and Ben an idea, that <laughs> you two doing a version of East 17. I'm sure he could. Boy could. Bands. I'm sure he could <laughs> write imagine. a version. <laughs> More luck of us being like the Spice Girls or something. <laughs> maybe 17. Uh, Grace's well, a fairy tale in New York as well. Yeah, it's a good yeah, one. Really, it's a really good, good one. one. Yeah, let us know. Kathy saying White Christmas. Karen oh, Owens yeah. is saying my favourite Christmas song is uh, Christmas Rapping by the Waitresses. That is a good mm. one. Laura Trimlet also saying fairy tale in New York. Yep, How about on repeat? Classic. Helen Smith saying the same. My one is Darling Love, Baby, Please Come Home for Christmas. <gasps> That's another good one, yeah, yeah. I do also love Bublé's version. <gasps> Anything Bublé at Christmas, I like you can't version, go wrong. But, um, yeah, Christmas, the snow's falling down. Dad. Oh, it just makes me feel warm and it cozy does, it? and I just love it. And then I also love, funny enough, Darling Love. Um, it's called uh, Please Come Home for Christmas, but it's in Home Alone, Home Alone 2, not oh, yeah. Boston, New York. You know when he goes, um, a, he's sitting in the airport mm -hmm. and then it's just going into that banging tune. You see him driving over one of the New York bridges and then he's getting his fireworks and he's doing all of that. I love that song. Yep. I'm trying to think another one. My family's one. in Florida <laughs> and I'm in New York. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. See, uh, if I could, not, you know, because doing a lot, little more bits and pieces on social, yeah. I'd love to film my own kind of version when I'm in New York. Oh, yeah. Pretend I'm an older Macaulay Culkin. <gasps> That would be do that. fun. Oh, I, I would be in Florida. Nicola, you want to be in Florida? If, yeah, Nicola's I'll do that. Someone need to be in Florida, though. Yeah, I'd do that for you, Craig. You know, all heart and all the rest of it. You know, I'd help out. I'll tell you another one I've just thought of that I love, and I can't remember what it, it's called. It's one by the darkness. Is it 10,000 oh, miles? Yeah, yeah. Love that one. That's an absolute banger, that. Yeah. Oh, um, do you know who's oh, it's got some banging Christmas songs? Oh, Kelly yeah. Clarkson. Yes. Underneath, yeah, under, the, tree, under the tree, dressed in yes. red. Oh, oh yeah, gosh. that's a good one. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Gabriella, Gabriella Chilmy, Warm This Winter. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, Kate Winslet, What, what If? Yes. That yeah, is a that's a good one. Song. Yeah, I can't yeah. quite get that high that she does. But oh, that is a really now. good... She's got a good voice. She certainly has, hasn't she? Just as well she survived the sinking of the Titanic. Well, it is, isn't it, really? I mean, what would we have done without that song, really? Let's be honest. Oh, there is some good Christmas songs. There, oh. there is. There's loads coming in. I'll let you uh, crack on and show us and tell us what you're doing, and then when we go back to the comments, Lily, I'll read through what everyone's oh. saying. Right, then. Should we go for the big reveal? So all we've done for our background, we've done a little bit of inking using our blending tool, our water reactive inks. We've done a little bit of our... Uh, one of our favourite techniques. I'm sure some of you at home will have seen this before. What I call Lily's stamping hand technique. All you do, name suggests, hold your stamp in your hand, no acrylic block, and literally just press that over, and it gives you that lovely distressed, muted design. Lots of second and third generation mm -hmm. stamping on there as well. Just literally building up that background. Flicked a little bit of water at it. The faux bleaching when we just dabbed that ink off and it gives us that lovely background. Sorry, Lily. That was actually, just so you know, that was a question from Carrie saying, Lily, why are you using your hand to stamp? Oh, do you know what? I love this technique because it's so, so easy. Because we don't want that full, complete stamped image. Unlike where we've got our sunflower, we want that really crisp image. So, of course, I've used my magnetic stamping platform for that. For our background, we want it really distressed. We want it really muted. We don't want a crisp stamped image. So just holding it in your, in your hand, it means you're going to get that more muted design. It's going to be a little bit more, uh, more distressed. So that's what I always call my stamp in hand technique. Nice, easy one. Even the kiddies could get involved in that as well. So that big reveal, all you need to do is just peel back that mask. And of course, it's a reusable mask. All you need to do, just give it maybe a uh, run under the uh, warm tap or perhaps just give it a little wipe off with one of your wipes. Give it a little bit of a dry off and it's literally good to go for next time you're going to use that. So just store it in your packet alongside those stamps. You can see there we've got that beautiful mask design, but we want to add a little bit of colour to that gorgeous uh, sunflower. So let's take some of our aqua pens. 
starting off with our chestnut and I believe you will find these over on the shop today uh, on the website if you want to go for your aqua pens these are fantastic jewel ended water based pens and what this allows you to do you can work directly to your image like we have done there or what you can do as well is you can actually dab that colour out onto your glass mat or any sort of non-porous surface it could be your craft mat like the brown one it could be a mixed media mat or it could even be just an, an old dinner plate I mean don't eat your dinner off it at the same time definitely <laughs> not uh, but anything that's non-porous that you can just use like a palette you can uh, actually dab that ink out onto there and then just pick up that colour and start to paint with it and it is such a forgiving such an easy way of actually colouring and adding that uh, lovely colour and that design onto your image so you can see on the other end you've got that super super fine point but we're going in with the brush nib and of course it's a sunflower so it'd be rude not to use the colour of aqua pen called sunflower and all we're going to do is we're just following the clues that's been laid down already by that stamped image so where we've got more lines within the stamp we're going to add more colour so let's start off with adding some of the pen directly to our image then let's bring in our uh, brush again with some water onto our glass mat and then we can literally just start to blend out that colour so easy to paint with your aqua pens you don't need to be an artist you don't need to have had any sort of experience with watercolour paint or anything like that and the fact that they're contained within that pen rather than a, a palette of paints which are not quite so easy to transport perhaps if you want to be crafting and colouring on the go it makes it a lot easier to have them in pen format and as well that super fine nib allows you to get into all the detail like we can see here that we've got on this gorgeous stamp so i'm literally just going in blending out that color not being really precise that's one of the beautiful things about using your water-based mediums you don't have to be precise by any stretch go outside the lines a little bit let that color bleed into each other and you're going to get the most fabulous muted uh, and sort of painterly effect so we'll just carry on doing that same sort of technique all over that image so I've gone in with my bud green to colour up those lovely leaves and when you've done it's going to give you an effect a little bit like this now I actually used some of the same colours oh, for wow. the background when it came to the inks but just applying them differently just applying the um, the stamps a little bit differently gives you a completely different finish effect which I think is so cool every single time you work with these you're going to get that unique piece of artwork every single piece is going to be different and I think there's something fantastic uh, about that for sure now I just want to frame this a little bit more so I'm going to go back to that darkest of the ink pads that I've used it's that lovely seal brown it's one that I quite possibly use the most when it comes to my water reactive inks that lovely deep brown great for adding that antique that distressed maybe that shabby chic effect to any of your crafts but what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit more of a vignette so a little bit darker around the edges it's going to draw our eye into the center of this panel here it's going to frame it beautifully and that's just going to be the finishing touch onto our panel so a little bit of ink just around the edge then let's start to lay this up onto our car blank so it's just going to be a matte layer onto black and then onto our white car base literally as simple as that Come on then, have we had any more Christmas we, we songs? Have, yeah, I was oh, just waiting, let's do waiting. It. I was itching Come to on. jump in there. So much so that I was actually looking at my own Christmas playlist to remind <gasps> myself of some other bangers that I've got when it comes to the Christmas tune. Yeah. Uh, we've got, so Gilmore is saying, well, Craig, that many cups of tea, I'm just starting on my first one. Yeah, that, that's not just from this show, I do, I do have to say. <laughs> Uh, we've got, yeah, some absolute crackers. We've got Laurie is saying, I love the Celtic Thunder Christmas songs, along with Andrea Bocelli. I can never say it, his surname uh, correctly. Bocelli? Bocelli. I think. White Christmas and Coming Home for Christmas from Tony Bennett and Lady Gaga. Ooh! Or Lady Gaga. Gaga. From uh, Miranda, a comedy on the <laughs> BBC. Uh, Sandra, Sandra is saying, Christmas Waltz by Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah, nice. I yeah, vaguely track. remember that one, yeah. Jane is saying, mine is definitely a Christmas carol, Oh Holy Night. Oh, my God, oh, that. And yeah. Silent Night. Oh, gets, yeah. Oh, gorgeous yeah. Song. That really does get me. Uh, Deborah, uh, Felice Navi Nab. That's a really good yeah, one. Yeah, another good which one. Which reminded me, and that's why I want to go and look on my playlist, because I thought the same from uh, the when we're talking about National Lampoon's mm -hmm. Christmas Vacation, and I can never say this right, but it's from Ben Crosby and the Andrew Sisters, and that's Maliki. Uh, that's it, Nicola. If only you could Ooh, say that. Oh, I don't Maliki, know. What it is. Say it again, Melikaliki Maka. Me Melikaliki Maka. That one. The Hawaiian way, yeah. 
It's such, it's so, so catchy. It really, really is. We've got Lynn uh, Bledsoe is saying, I love Carol of the Bell. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. It reminds oh. me of the Santa Claus. Yeah. I like that one. Saying, I love a Carol of the Bells, but when I play my foot, when I play my flute, my favourite song is O, o Come Emmanuel. Oh, yeah, gorgeous, yeah. Helen oh, Stewart on. saying, uh, Joe and Lonely on the Looney on the Stop the Calvary. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Helen is saying, Love Stay Another Day. Oh, yeah. Cat Butt, friend up in uh, Montrose, is saying, Krista Borg, that is A Spaceman Came Travelling, which is the one that Nicola likes. Deborah Rob Rogers is saying, or when a child is born, Johnny Mathis. Oh, yeah, yeah. another good one. When a child is born. Uh, Rennie is saying, David Bowie and Bing Crosby. Peace on earth, little drummer boy. Yeah, that's, that's a good one. That's another good one. Cathy, I've not heard this one, so I've added it to my playlist. I'm going to listen in the car home. Uh, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Oh, <gasps> have you not heard that? No. Oh, my goodness, it's absolutely hilarious, Craig. You'll have a right is laugh. Is that a good one, is yeah, it? Yeah, you'll love it. Barbara R is saying, I like Mary Did You Know. Oh, Holy Night, and What Child Is This? Oh, well, I'm not sure on that So I want to hear that I like Mary, did you know, and a child is this. Oh. Not sure about that one. Not Helen Stewart, that. Coldplay, Christmas Nut Lights. Great one, absolutely great one. Hannah Goslin smith so this is actually the one that I was referring to, uh, and that is Nobody But you Gotta Be Alone at Christmas, Darlene Love. Yep, it's a good uh, one. And she loves uh, Eight Days of Christmas by Destiny Child. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love Destiny's Child. That is a good song, that one. Not that that is in a years. good one. A uh, few from mine. And actually, I posted that on my Crafter's Companion Insta story Sunday when I was watching Christmas film while prepping. And that's Miracle on 34th Street. So when the couple are walking oh, through yeah. a new, new York City, you know, I posted it saying it's one of my favourite scenes. Kenny G. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. <gasps> yes, Just the of tune. course. Yep, it's a good one. Absolutely. The Polar Express, Believe by Josh Groban. Yep. That's a really, really good. By the way, this is my play. This is just some of my playlists, not all of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nicola thought it was you guys at home. No, it's my playlist. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Uh, Ella Fitzgerald, have yourself a merry little Christmas, and Sleigh Ride. Love those oh. ones. That's just some of them. Just some of them that I love that I've got oh. on my playlist. There's loads more. Must be about, I don't know, 50 on my playlist so Good far. Good grief. Wowzers. But while we've just been chatting about that... I mean, completely different that. season, like, but... I mean, I've just heard the rain outside. This is definitely what we want in our craft rooms, that little bit of sunshine. Using some of those sentiment stamps that we were saying earlier are going to be so useful in your crafty stash. How cute is that? How uplifting and definitely what we need on a day like today. On it. Imagine as well things like your glossy highlights, <gasps> yeah. or your dew drops, bit or anything sparkle, like that. Yeah. Look fine, a little bit of a sparkle. Right, that was your floral collage stamp set. That is your six piece stamp set where you're going to get everything that we've just shown you there a moment ago. So I'm going to go through it again here where you've got, mm -hmm, you've got your. E your Ek and Sue, as I used to call it. Ek and Sue. That's what it reminds I didn't watch Love Island the year that Ek and Sue was on it, but whenever people say that, I don't know, it just reminds me of... See, I've never watched Sue. it. Have you not? No, it's not for me. No. Yeah, not, B not bit for too you. Much, yeah. Big brother for me. Well, yeah, yeah, Big Brother, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. We were talking about it earlier, weren't we? Well, very excited yeah, me, for Celebrity Big Brother. Me and Debbie messaging each other about it. <laughs> All of these designs of what you've got that you can see here, not only that, then going to be getting all these sentiments as well. £35 or $45. Platinum price is £28 or $36. You can do exactly what Lily's just said. And that concept that Lily just said and showed you there a moment ago, you could follow suit with all of them. But then, of course, you can come along, you can mix it up and change it. I'm just going to quickly go out of shop here because we've got an Explorer kit here. Hi. Uh, we've got an Explorer kit. Now, I was taking my notes this morning because... What this actually works out, you're going to get everything that I'm showing you. So let's go through everything that you're going to be getting. And that is your ball tools. Now you're going to get your six ball tools. This is three ball tools, but six different heads. Then you're going to get your deep sponge as well to do the shaping. You're going to get all of these. Now these are going to come to you for £35 or $50. You've got a platinum price of £28 or $40. You've got your 400 stamens. You've then also, with your dies, you've got your delightful rose. You've got, as Ben calls it, your finger toboggan that you can see just here. What you've also then got is the clover, the clover die. Now, each year, 
I know Remembrance Day just passed here at the weekend here. That is the one that I use when I make my own poppies. So when I make my own poppies, that is the one that I use. For anyone that doesn't know, I always make my own poppies and I do always give a donation after I've made it. You're then going to be getting your green flower form and foam. So that's your heat activated flower form and foam. Seven sheets. You're then going to be getting your 12 sheets. That was from the Daisy collection, but you're going to get some of the white, some of the green, and then you're going to get one of the grey. And then you're going to get your 12 sheets. That one there is from the set with flowers. So when it comes to these ones, with that price there, what you are essentially paying for, you are paying for these here. So you're going to be paying for all of these. 400 of your stamens are what you're going to be paying for. What you're also then going to be paying for is your your 9 by 12 flower forming. You're also then going to be paying for the ball tools and the mat. And then you're also then going to be paying for the finger toboggan. Essentially, that's what you're paying for. All of that, that would come to, if you bought it on its own, that would come to £36.96 or $51.88. Look at your price. But you're also getting all of this. So essentially, all of this is what you're getting for £1.96 or 188 for all of that and that and that that is a phenomenal phenomenal explorer kit when it comes to the flower forming all of it in total that's what you need to know you're going to get the whole lot 50, uh, 35 pound or 50 dollars with a platinum price of 28 pound or 40 dollars so i wouldn't be surprised if that one there is going to be very very busy once you check that one out in your basket Talking about checking out your basket, uh, as you know by now, it's not yours until you've checked out. As I like to use that terminology of, it's like you're going around Asda or Tesco's or Walmart or Target. And if it's in the basket, you can pretty much take it out and nick it until you get to the checkout. And that's what can happen when it comes to our website. And to do that, to make sure that it's definitely yours, then of course, check out your basket and we'll be back in a minute. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special? 100% it's the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. There once was a man who was very crafty. His name was Craig from Carnoustie. He joined the team on Crafters TV. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He wanted to prove he was the man, but he lost at Craft Wars to Leanne. But two weeks later, he beat Jan. Oh, crafty Scottish man craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when
when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. He did so well on Crafters TV, Sarah sent him off to Germany, where he did some work for QVC. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us tales and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. His crafting skills, they aren't half bad. In fact, I'd say they're totally rad. That's mainly down to his favourite foam pads. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. The crafters, they loved him a lot for his charm and skill. They went quite potty. They nicknamed him the hardy Scotty. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. In the crafting world, he's standing tall. He's the best Scottish crafter of them all. Catch him Monday to Friday on his wake-up call. Oh, crafty Scottish man, craft. Soon may the crafty man come to bring us demos and inspiration. Each day when his crafting is done, he might do a Facebook Live. I have to just say there, I was just listening there, Cathy, to Grandma get got hit over, get hot over, got run over by a reindeer. Yes, very catchy, very catchy. It's going to be in my head for quite a wee while now, for sure. We've got uh, Hannah Laura saying, wow, Lily, that sunflower really is popping. We've got Stephanie saying, I guess I need to make a playlist. Silent Night gets me every time. Beautiful one. We've also got Panda Crafts saying, I do love more classic Christmas songs like El Devo singing Christmas songs. Yes, East 17 with a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We've also got Karen is saying, The Bell Carol is also lovely. It is lovely. And also Macy Gray walking in the winter wonderland. Mm. I vaguely remember that one, her singing mm. that. Michelle, Laura Smith is saying Shaken Stevens. Merry oh, Christmas, yeah. everyone. Uh, one of my Christmas songs that I love. Jenny is saying, if you love funny Christmas songs, you need to listen to Dominic the Donkey. <laughs> Dominic the Donkey is very funny. Oh, oh. <laughs> tickled me that one. I don't know why. Dominic the Donkey. Uh, Caroline F is saying, my, my favourite song. Oh, what is your favourite song? She's just put Carol, Caroline F, Crafty Chimp, she's just saying, my favourite song. Ah, the Crafty Man Craig. Yeah, I can't stand it, I hate it. I'm joking. Um, I, no one does song writing and songs better than Ben, in my opinion. Absolutely classic. I wonder what his next one's going to be. Well, I hope it's a Christmas one. I don't ask maybe a bit too late for that. I know. Maybe for next year. I think next year he's got mm, to do a Christmas got one. To. We've he's all, got to. We've all got to wear the East 17 coats and be in the music video. I'm putting it out there now. I'm putting that it's request in. It's a good idea. In. There's yeah. an email that you're going to be sending yep. tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow morning. Hey, next year. Copying in everybody. Yeah. <laughs> everyone's got Everyone's got worn in. We've got at least got like 10 months to get it organised yeah. and sorted. Yep. Source the coats. Who's going to be in the video? I, I just want to put it out there. I would like to be part. I'm sure you would. Ben I will would. be there. Yeah. Nicola, will you be there in the big coat? Yeah, Nicola will be there. Yeah. Yeah. James, will you be there? Yeah. He said, yeah, I, I'm feeling it's a no like, but you know. Right. Here's another question then oh. for this last part of Launch Party. You've told us in your droves what your favourite Christmas song is. Mm. What Christmas song would you like to see Ben do a version of? <gasps> a crafty version of? In Christmas. Ooh, as long as it's not driving home for Christmas, I'll be all right. I'm going yeah. to vote for driving home for Christmas. Ah, uh, I bet you are. Get, get yeah. ready for your schedule coming out in the next week or so. There'll be a lot of things oh, yeah. you don't like. Never, never thought of that one. I never did yeah. that, of course not. Never thought of that one. Um, right, well, we'll have a look at our papers. These continue to be busy every single day. Now, Lily, I think you've got the ombre glitter because Sarah took it earlier on. So I've got the new Neon Dreams. Uh, I think you must have the ombre glitter on your side because she took it to use the transfers on. Uh, i definitely just checking. Nope, I don't have them, just the Neon Dreams. So let's show you the Neon Dreams because what you're going to get is the Neon Dreams and you're going to get the actual ombre glitter card. This is part of a showstopper. So when it comes to 
the showstopper, what you're also then going to be get is what I have got here. So let's show you your actual 12 by 12. So this one here is 300 GSM. It is double sided. Now what you've got, although you've got a lot of animal print that runs through the bright colours and the tones here, you've got that marble sort of effect. You've got a floral feel to some of them as well, but you've got more of a layered texture, layer upon layer upon layer. That is giving you these in the 12 by 12, 24 sheets. What you're also going to get is exactly the same when it comes to the 6 by 6. So you've got the 6 by 6, exactly the same, it's just been shrunk down. Now, that one there is, of course, your Neon Dreams. You're also going to get your Ombre Glitter card as well. You're going to get the 12 by 12 and the 6 by 6. Now, when it comes to the Showstopper, you're going to get all of this as well. Now, you're going to get the paper uh, tabs as well. You're going to get your actual... So you say it's paper taker. It's not the paper taker, is it? Is it handler? It's I always get mixed up between which one's the a hand handler and which one's a taker. handler? Hey, that would be a good wrestling name, wouldn't it? Oh, the, the handler. handler. Yeah. The handler. So you're going to get that one as a showstopper. You're actually going to get two of these. The paper handler, that's it. Two of them are going to come your way. Now, you're also then going to be getting platinum. So I don't have the platinum here, but you're going to get your Centura Pedal 310 GSM Platinum. That's going to come to you. Not only that, you're then going to be getting your 12x12, 12 12, my favourite, favourite pad that we do here. 250 GSM, 12x12, 12 12, 24 sheets, 12 are a linen, 12 are a pearlescent. That's in there. And then you're also then going to be getting your Botanic Gardens as well. It's got like a light shimmer to it when it comes to this one, a pearlescent effect double-sided Sarah likes to say you've got the A side and then you've got the B side which is there A side is giving you more of that deep floral incredible look of the design and then the B side has got more of that subtler backdrop effect but when it comes to each of these these are 12 by 12 you've got so many bright tones that you can see here and then when it comes to the weight of it you're 250 GSM which is perfect for construction so just to say when it comes to that one there when it comes to all of that, all of these ones here, I'm going to put them side by side here, so including the additional one. You could get all of that. So if we take the ombre and also the neon dreams out of the equation, you could get that on its own separately. And if you were to do that, you're going to be £56.95 or $71.99 for just that set there. Look at the price on your screen. You're also going to get those four paper pads as well but you're getting it for £65 or $83. Platinum price, £52 or $66.40. That's why it's another one of the showstoppers that we do that so many have been going, uh, going for this. Because if you were just going to go for the four paper pads on their own, which you could have, you would be £48.96 or $67.80. Now, once again, for about 20 quid or so more, you're going to get everything else. So the value is exceptional there, but you can get it all for £52 or $66.40. So that is that one. We're going to go across to Lily, where we're going to be having a look and doing the demonstrations with the pads. Uh, we certainly are. We're going to be mixing and matching both the Neon Dreams with that fabulous ombre glitter. We're even going to bring in those amazing brand new foil transfers as well. So what we're going to do to start off with is we're taking a couple of sheets of our Neon Dreams. We've cut it down to eight and a half by five and a half inches. And all we've gone ahead and done is we've marked one with the L, that's our box lid, and one is going to be our box base. We've scored both at one and a half inch depth. Now, as we start to actually reinforce those score lines, you can see this is a thick, heavyweight car stock. This is 300 GSM, but using your scoring tools, using those scoreboards, you can see how absolutely beautifully this scores and folds. No cracks, no uh, sort of puckering, no creases within that fold line there. It scores like an absolute dream. Give me that beautiful, professional finish when you are creating your boxes using these fantastic, and I know we call them paper pads, but at 300 GSM, it most certainly is a card pad double-sided as well as you can see here we're just using the slightly more muted if you like almost reminds me uh, of like a, a water ripple on this one I think it's just absolutely beautiful and all we're doing in order to create our box and give it that lovely neat finish what you need to do is you need to trim along those score lines up to where they cross but what you can see here if we were to fold that together like so we've got the danger of that bottom edge there catching on the top of our box lid so in order to combat that all we do is just remove a triangle and just take out that bolt there so that when we fold it together we know that there's no risk whatsoever of that bottom edge there catching on our box lid and it's going to fold together a lot more neatly and easily 
So we've done the same on both our box lid and our box base, just trimming out those sections there. Then of course we need some nice mats and layers uh, to uh, really frame this and tie it all together. And what we've done is we've taken some of our lovely silver mirror card and that comes in the packs of your luxury card stock. So where you get your mirror card, your satin and that lovely glitter card as well. And then we've taken our six by six pad of the ombre glitter card and we've just cut down our mats and layers. So we've got a couple of our longer ones to go on the box sides. And then what we've got, we've got our slightly smaller ones that are going to go on our shorter uh, box side. So let's mat and layer these together. So you've got that lovely ombre onto the silver. See, I've got that sticky mat again. Mats and layers are sticking to that sticky mat. There we go. <laughs> uh, and then we're just matting and layer those together. So we've got that one there. We've got another of the smaller ones. And all it is a case of doing is just popping these onto our box lid. Super simple to create boxes when you've got this fabulous card because you don't need an awful lot of decoration all that strength is within the design of that paper pad. So you're really just letting those papers, letting that design do all the talking and just adding a few embellishments to finish it off nicely. So let's pop our mats and layers using our fabulous all-purpose glue. So one I always use for my matting and layering. We do recommend to use your tacky glue when it comes to your glitter card or your coated card. Reason being is because if you do get any of that glue sort of squidging out the sides and going onto that cardstock, it can actually strip the coating off. But if you're super careful like I'm being here and making sure you're actually staying uh, sort of within the border a little bit of that matte and layer and you don't get any of that glue squishing out the edges, it will be absolutely fine. It certainly is strong enough to be adhering uh, your uh, coated cardstocks as well as your matte cardstock. So final matte and layer is going to go onto that left hand side there, just making sure it's nice and central. It does take just a few moments for your uh, collal all purpose to grab, especially when you're using a coated card. But you know that once it has grabbed, it's going to be nicely stuck into position and it's going to be going absolutely nowhere. So there we go, we've got our uh, first stage done, our box lid is done. But of course we need something to go on the box lid and that's where we're going to bring in our foil transfers. So we've got a piece of that gorgeous ombre glitter card cut down to size and then we're taking one of the beautiful foil transfers from the kit. What we need to do to start with, and we've just cut that from the pad uh, just so we don't need to foil the whole sheet at once because of course you can be using different colour foils uh, for the different elements within each and every single sheet. Taking our bone folder, you will find those over on the website and burnishing your uh, transfer there. And then you just need to peel back that acetate from the carrier sheet. Just take care to do this nice and slowly, making sure you don't catch your fingers on any of that adhesive. Then just turn that over and then you're going to line it up exactly where you want it onto your uh, piece of cardstock. So let's just have a little look. A little bit more tricky under studio lights. So just take a moment to line that up. Gosh, I didn't realise that was the time. We've got two votes no. to do as well, don't it's we? It's crazy, isn't it? It absolutely flies by. So I think we've been here for goodness knows how many hours we've been here today for. It has literally absolutely flown by. Honestly, it's like walking into a time warp coming into the studio. <laughs> yeah, it is at times. Literally is. I mean, you could could have told me we were 15 minutes into the show and I would believe you're not 15 minutes from the end. Good grief. It does absolutely fly by. So all we need to do now is take that same burnishing tool and just start to burnish that design so that all of that adhesive is going to catch onto uh, our glitter card just like so. And once you think that all of that is cool, just again really slowly going to peel back your acetate carrier sheet and you can see there's no adhesive on there so we've got it all on that design, all on that um, piece of cardstock. Then we're taking a piece of that foil, this time the silver foil, having the pretty side, the shiny side facing up and then the uh, reverse is the side that goes next to that adhesive. Smooth it out with your fingers just to make sure that that's nicely in position. Then it's time to bring back in our little burnishing tool. I mean, this is an absolute godsend. I know Sarah was saying earlier, you can be running this through your Gemini machine, but if you want to get the kiddies involved, if this is something maybe you want to be taking, if you're going away, maybe you're going away uh, to the caravan for the weekend and you're not going to have your machines with you, but you want to bring a little bit of crafting with you, then it's going to be ideal to just bring these little kits no need for a die cutting machine, no need for any big tools. Literally just a few handheld tools and the kits themselves and you are good to go. You could be foiling up lots of elements and then maybe when you're back home, uh, you can start to be popping those onto your cards. So all we're going to do is just continue to burnish this until we're happy that that design will have transferred. And then all we need to do is the big reveal. Just peel back that design 
from our foil. And if you've got any areas where it looks like it's overfoiled, don't worry, it's not stuck at all. All you need to do is just, you can see a bit of that foil, that overfoiling will just come off on my finger. Just sort of wipe that away and you're gonna get that beautifully foiled design onto your glitter card. Doesn't that look absolutely really amazing? Just uh, Helen's like asking, Lily, Craig, could you please ask Lily, what yep. is the size of the box she's making? Yep, of course. So the size of the box, I cut my cardstock two pieces to eight and a half inches by five and a half. So it's eight and a half by five and a half. And then I've scored on all four sides at one and a half inches. One of them, of course, scored on the box lid side of my scoreboard and one on my box base. But eight and a half by five and a half is that starting size of your piece of cardstock. Hopefully that helps. Of course, we've got a few minutes left on the show, so any quick questions, do fire them across. So then just matting and layering our little topper onto a thin border of our silver to get everything matching together. And then that's gonna go onto our box lid, just to finish that off. I mean, this is a super simple box, isn't it? Just a few mats and layers, just that foil transfer in the middle, but it's all about those papers and all about those foil transfers. Using them together is gonna to give you that really luxurious finish. Then while that's just drying, let's start to build our box base. So I've already got some red liner tape onto the tabs here. Uh, when I'm crafting at home, I do tend to use the 12 mil tape, but I have to say I could not see any uh, around in the studio. So we're gonna go in with a combination of our thinner six mil red liner tape, and then just to sort of bulk out that area at the side, I think we'll add a bit of our tape pen. So we've got almost like a double stick onto there. And then we're gonna do exactly the same with our box lid. Now I know we've only got a few minutes left, but we've got any more Christmas songs to quickly pack in before the end of the show. Any more recommendations, any more favourites that the guys at home are letting us know about? Uh, yeah, we, we could do. Um, we've got a few just coming through. As Lily said, we are just coming to the end of the show, so we're quick. You're literally going to have a minute or so, if that, to do each vote. So keep in mind that we're ready to do that in a second. But we've got Caroline F is saying, um, so Caroline was saying, yeah, about the favourite song being the one that Ben done. Judy is saying the little drummer boy. Laurie yep. Townsend is saying the 12 days of Christmas would be awesome. A crafty version with all the staff presenting in the video. That would be good. It would. Kim is saying in a previous life I, want, a life, I once dressed up as a big cardboard box and cut out 12 doors in it. And it went, it went with the 12 days of Christmas song. It was super fun. That does sound fun. Maybe that's something we need to do here. Maybe. maybe. Yeah. And Maybe. Adriana is saying, can't wait to get this paper. Absolutely, it is a fantastic, absolutely fantastic collection of paper pads. And I know we do keep calling them paper pads, but do bear in mind, uh, you've got 210 GSM when it comes to that ombre glitter card, and you have that whopping heavyweight 300 GSM when it comes to that neon dream. So you know you've got substantial card stock that you can even do your construction with like we are doing here. So then let's just continue building our box lid in exactly the same as we have built our box base. And then we just need to slide the two together. Fingers crossed, yeah, we've, we've scored on the right lines, which is always a good start. Good, good. And then finally, just to finish it off, I've taken a sentiment this time. Uh, I've foiled this time onto the um, fabulous Neon Dreams, actually. So it goes to show you can foil onto your um, pearl cardstocks as well. So think of all those Centura pearl colours we bring to you that you could be foiling onto as well. And then just to finish that off, let's pop our sentiment onto the bottom there. A very simple, quick and easy box but it's all about those absolutely nice. fantastic card pads. And of course, those amazing foil transfers as well. Awesome, brilliant. Thank you for that one, Lily. Lily, if you don't mind, if you could line up your demonstrations from this yeah. launch party show so we can get the vote in. As I said there a moment ago, you're, you're probably literally going to have a minute or so for Gracie to get the votes counted so we can move on to demo of the day. But here we go, let's have a look and see what Lily's been doing. Absolutely, let's get that vote started. So demo number one, using those four transfers onto acetate and some other surfaces as well. Then demo number two, we went in with those fantastic illustrated embossing folders. Demo number three is those beautiful uh, floral collage stamps and masks. And then finally, the one we've just popped together using the uh, card pads and the four transfers. That's demo number four. So one, two, three, or four, get those votes in. Awesome, thank you for that one, Lily. Uh, you can go for those pads and that showstopper that I showed you a moment ago, £65 or $83, but you've got a platinum price of £52 or $66.40. You can always go back to the shows over the weekend and have a look at them in even more detail and see all the things that you can do. Uh, right, do you fancy a preview as to what's launching at the end of the week? 
I think you do. Now, this is going to be launching on Crafters TV on Friday, I want to say. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be down at Hobby Maker with it as well. And this is our beautiful, beautiful tropical coloured Kingfisher collection. Till you see the card, the colour, the design, the layout, it is beautiful. Now you've got your 12 by 12, 180 GSM, 37 sheets, now I'm going to start at the back, and we have got sentiments that you start to see more and more lately when it comes to 12 by 12, but then when it comes to the design, I mean look at that one there. You've got your oranges, your navies, you've got mints, you've got teals, you've got purple in there. This really is kind of like a paradise tropical feel when it comes to the colours that you've got here. Just going to go back to the last one there so you can see that one here. I mean, whether you've got the little accents of the Kingfisher, maybe you've got just a couple of them dotted about, the fireflies in the background, you've got them all on these 12 by 12, you're going in with the mustards, with the yellows, got the bright pinks with the roses, you've also got your peonies as well. This is one of the most delightful, gorgeous, stunning paper pads that I've seen. And I know we do say that quite a lot when a paper pad comes out, but the layout and also the colours within that one is absolutely sensational. You're also going to get the 6x6, so the 6x6 is exactly the same, it's just been shrunk down so you're not losing any of it. Then what you're also going to be getting is you're going to be getting your linen cardstock. Now for this one, what I am going to do, I know we're just about out of time, I'm going to show you this one here. And then what we'll do is we'll quickly go into the result. It's come through, but we can then just show you the colours here. I know it shows you on the box, but it really doesn't do it justice until we actually flick through. So you've got your deep greens, you've got your navies, you've got your teals, you've then got your oranges and your fuchsias as well. I'm going to pause right there where we can then go over demo of the show. And that one, Lily, it goes to number four. Number four? The one wow. that you've just done there. There the one that you've just done. So we can now do demo of the show Definitely. where we have got these ones from Sarah. So Sarah had done these ones between wake up call and also from the launch day. Thank you, Lily. And then that one from Lily. So three to choose from. So number one was from our floral frame and boston folder and dye launch. So number one in wake up call. Number two within launch day. And then number three, from our launch party. So that was from Lily just there. So one, two, or three. The choice is yours, and you literally got a little minute or two to get your votes in. We'll crack on and have a look at the Kingfisher collection that's launching on Friday here. What we've also got as well is we've got our 8x8 vellums. Now, the 8x8 vellums are going to match in design and layout when it comes to the paper pads, but they're in the vellum form. We've then got our iridescent glitter as well. That is a big tub as well that you're getting than this one here, just so you can see. Big tub of the iridescent glitter. So that on the paper pads or the vellum is going to look incredible. Beautiful blossoms. Now that one's a layer and stencil here to create up that blossom with the layers of colours. Going to be good with your duet ink pads, that's for sure. You've then got your stamps and your dies. You've then got your in-flight as well. So that's your create a card die. You're going to get a pack of 18 feathers. Look at the bright coloured feathers that you're going to be getting. Blossoming floral border, so that one there is your beautiful border edgeable die. You've got all occasion sentiment stamps. Not only that, you're going to be getting your nature silhouette stamps as well. You're then going to be getting your actual Kingfisher embossing folder, that one being your 3D embossing folder. What about the by the river? So that one there is a 2D embossing folder. You're then also going to be getting entwined wreath as well. Not only that, you're going to be getting your flying gem, so that's giving you a stamp and a die. Not only that, you're then going to be getting the blue lighting that you can see within this one. Also a stamp and a die. You're also going to be getting your three colours of your seam binding ribbon. Last but by no means least, you're then going to be getting your three tri-colour aqua pens. Now, they're not brand new colours, but these colours have been put together to match the Kingfisher colour theme. So that is a full collection that you've got when it comes to the Kingfisher collection that's launching on Friday. And I know that's one that many of you are going to be itching to go for. Right, the result is in, and it actually, so it does go to Sarah, and it's number one. Number one is demo of the show.
that you can see just here. Uh, Lily, as always, it's been an absolute joy. It's been so much fun. It um, has. When are you next back on? Do you know? I'm actually back on Friday night at 6 p.m., which means I can get my hands on the Kingfisher. I'm going to sneak a little Kingfisher Fab. demo onto that uh, show. It is a masterclass all about our Sarah signature ranges. We're going to bring you a mix of both Christmas and every day, so I'm very much looking forward Excellent. to that. But it's been a fabulous show tonight. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Lily. Uh, that's me for Crafters TV till next week. However, I am going to be on Hobby Maker in the UK Friday. You guys stay inside. You've got your wish. You're going to have me back on HSN on Saturday. Uh, we've got our brand yeah. new, oh, our brand new collection from, say, Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. Thursday, I can't quite say too much. I am on my travels. Mm -hmm. hey. I am. Um, I'm going down to London. That's yeah. all that I'm going to say for now. Keep an eye on my social, certainly from Thursday. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I am very nervous, but I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, thank you to the guys, Nicola and Johnny, James as well. Of course, we've had uh, our Lily. Tracy's been out there. Sam's been in all day today as well. And then, of course, we had the lovely Alex and the lovely Gracie as well. Have a lovely rest of your evening of your day. The guys will see you tomorrow for a brand new launch. Sheena's going to be here in the building, and I will see you soon. Toodles. Thank you.